Welcome, Squidling, to the Squiddy Pool. Holy 87 months, Batman. Oh, hey there. Wanna see some cool sh Well, you're probably in the wrong place. You wanna see a guy be a dumbass for several hours? We get you. Hello there, friends of the pool. Good morning to everyone who can fire their cannons at the correct time. Oh no, and good morning to everyone who doesn't work for Spectrum. Director Scar, Mesa Death 101, Dark Stripe, Link 1429, Bode Zero, and Calphite starting us off today. Hopefully that, and I'm the green bean, right? The buzzer, right at the end you get in there. Hopefully that was just a weird little waffle and that's not indicative of the adventures we're going to have in internet service providers today. <sighs> Man.
mentally prepare myself to play more Majora's Mask. I want to just... I want to understand. I just want to understand all the people. They were like, hey... This is my favorite game ever. Sakna! It counts. We take it. Come on in. Have you like, is this the, is it the only video game that you've played? Was it like, you grew up shoeless in a cardboard box that your parents found behind a pizza hut, and the only good thing you had was your N64 with Majora's Mask? You... Your parents traded your shoes for. Like, what? what is the situation that led to people unironically putting Majora's Mask as, like, one of their favorite games of all time? <laughs> is it a nostalgia thing? Is it just, like, is it a GoldenEye situation? Because it might be a GoldenEye situation. It's hard to recognize a GoldenEye if you weren't there for it originally. Like, if you don't have the frame of reference... Of how good it used to be. So you're falling off behind the Primo strategy guide. If you just... If I told you Goldeneye... Was an absolute masterpiece... That shaped... The modern landscape of first person shooters... And enabled... This entire genre to exist. And then handed you a fucking... Nintendo 64 controller... With one thumbstick... And said, here's Goldeneye. <laughs> you would think I was crazy. You would think I was insane. You would worry for my sanity and my well-being. Because it's actually, like, at this point in time, impossible to put Goldeneye into perspective. Like, it can't be done anymore. It's too old. It's too old that it's just kind of become, like, esoteric, nearly to the point of being completely unplayable. Which we learned at the very beginning, honestly, at the very fucking beginning of our treasure trawler adventure. The Perfect Dark. Kind of the unofficial sequel to Golden Knives. Then we started with. I fucking love it. But even loving it, personally, having played through it several times, I come back to it for this thing that we tried to do. And I couldn't even tell you what half the shit in that game is supposed to look like. Like, the graphics are so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. As to be difficult to understand what the developer's intentions even were for what you're looking at half the time. And I know this is exacerbated these days because I'm playing a Nintendo 64 through an HDMI capture card but on an LED monitor, which are all things that this isn't supposed to do. It turns out you cannot simply convert a component signal to HDMI without challenges, and it's always going to look like doo-doo ass to some degree. But I'm not going to get a component capture card. I'm not going to pull out my old fucking Diamond Pro from the Dark Ages. Try and get that shit to work again. I can't go back. I can't go back to an era... Before capture cards that were functional and OBS. I was there. I was there. In the time before time. <laughs> we didn't have all these nice streaming tools and shit didn't just function like it was supposed to most of the time. And half of your time trying to stream or record anything was trying to beat the shit out of your dazzle, yeah. To convince it to record anything. And not be jank as shit. <laughs> I'm not going back. I refuse. 
We're here now. We can deal with what a Nintendo 64 looks like on this. I remember the Dazzle HD wasn't even remotely HD. Yeah, I was back in the lawless wasteland of the 2010s. When you could just put HD on anything, because HD didn't, like, have a legal advertising definition, you could say anything was HD, and you couldn't get in trouble for false advertising. Because you're like, yeah, it's high definition, it's higher definition than our regular one. Before we, you know, accepted that there is a minimum quality that your thing has to be to be legally considered HD. They couldn't pull that shit with 4K. It's okay. Technology solved that problem for us. You can't really call your thing, like, 4K. And like, oh, I just mean it's 4 k -er than the other one. When the format is called high definition, boy, that was a fucking absolute field day for ill-intentioned, or ill-intentioned, greasy fucking advertising middle management breath wasters. You could call anything HD. Absolutely anything. That Dazzle captured, like, 360p at best. But it's a Dazzle HD. Because it says it is. It says it right there on the box. HD sounds for Happy Dragon. It's our Happy Dragon model. Stop right there, criminal scum! <sighs> Fucking illegal. Hexy! What the fuck, don't you have a hat? Oh, hey, let me get the volume. Let me get the volume real quick while the uh, capture card is trying to figure out what the hell it's doing with its life. Good. Thank you, capture card. You got my back. I appreciate you. Let me turn my fucking headphones down. Better. <laughs> Thank you, capture card. I forgot to adjust the volume. Hexy! 65 months in the pool. <laughs> you were the shiniest, Squidly. Five and a half years of head. I'm doing the thing. You know what? Our conversation yesterday with Group Idiot Man have inspired me. I have RuneScape open on this monitor. Just slapping away here. Tiny, you hear the distance. Tiny little RuneScape slapping noises. Obviously I'm gonna mute them, but Nightmare Zone. We'll see if I can AFK for literally an entire stream. Maybe get one fucking strength level because I'm getting like no XP per hour if it's full AFK mode, but such is life. Mirna1116, welcome in. Our game is still hardcore. Despite his best efforts. Despite his best efforts. Mono did not die yesterday. He tried. He fucking tried. He tried so hard to give himself to the wolves. Despite his best efforts, the sweet release of death has not come for him, not yet. Holy shit, we almost... He almost topped it off with the funniest death. I think it would have been the single most hilarious way to lose the final life on a hardcore Iron Man. He got trolled. Not by Rune Scopio. Not by Yagex. He got fucking trolled. Oh, I need to go to the bank, actually. I need to grab 50 more bucks. I gotta buy blue potion and beans. Never mind, disregard. Somebody. You may be familiar. I'm told this is a relatively common occurrence, or at least, uh, maybe not a common occurrence, but like a classic troll of luring a dark mage inside the Draenor bank. And we just showed up at the Draenor, uh, the Draenor bank and somebody had already brought a dark mage inside and he almost got his ass blasted. I think I need 50 bucks. I think it's 10 bucks for magical bean. Require five magical beans. What's up, Fred Bigaka? How you doing? So I have a thought. Now that I've discovered that fish do exist, they are real. 
I think that save for the things that you need to get in the front door, that is the five magic beans and the blue potion, I might be able to do this shitty little Gibdo dungeon in one pass. We were really just hard locked on the fish thing. But now knowing about the secrets of the fish, I think we can get almost everything that you need to progress from the dungeon. So we might not need multiple trips. Hello, sir. I would like to purchase from you one magic bean. Hello, sir. I would like to purchase from you a second magic bean. Hello, sir. Uh, this may surprise you, but I would like to purchase from you a third magic bean. Hello, sir. Can you believe it? I would like to purchase from you a fourth magic bean. Thank you, my fine fellow. Hello, sir. Today and today only. I would like to purchase from you a fifth magic bean. Thank you. Have a nice day. Considered selling them in like six packs. Rustog77, 76 months in the pool. Next month, you get the thing where the number matches your name. You with the shiniest swilling. Bean me, bean daddy. No, no, I hate it. Not that. Hello, it is me. Question, can I use power of EQ momentum? I can, but I can't use the power of hot jumping high enough. What about over here? Nah, this is specifically designed to prevent you from being able to do that. Let's fucking go. Now I'm gonna need about 27 more pieces of equipment. This is where the shit gets... Very hot swappy. I need a great number of things to make my way through this world. Deal. Fuck. That took actually forever to get out of Goron form. That was like one business day between me letting go of the A button and him actually standing up. I didn't even try to catch it right at the edge. I let go like before we got to the Deku guy. That took fucking forever to get out of ball form. Look, when I let go of the A button, I need you to get out of ball form. So that's the that's the deal we have. Hello, sir. I would like to purchase from you one blue potion. And we're off to the goddamn races. Well, not quite. So to get to the racetrack, but then we're off to the goddamn races. You know, here's the thought, and I'm aware, I'm fully aware, that it's not necessarily the same people. What I'm going to do right now is a logical phalanche, and it's the same thing as when somebody goes on a subreddit, pushes their fucking glasses up the bridge of their nose, snorts. And says, <laughs> this Reddit's never happy. First, you guys complain that there's nothing to do. And then, they add more content, and you complain that you don't have time to finish it. <laughs> like it's the same people that was posting both of those things, and not, you know, clearly two completely distinct groups of people that are also on the same Reddit for the same thing. <laughs> I'm about to do that, but part of what pisses me off so much about this weird, fervent fucking worship for mask uh, for Majora's Mask, which again is not great, not a great game. This is like Ocarina of Time, but bad is basically my assessment so far, and it hasn't changed. It's that I remember a time back when we were streaming Dark Cloud. Some of you gentlemen probably remember Dark Cloud. 
We had it on Treasure Trawler, and then we never actually got to finish it. Oh, if it squishes you, you actually get fucking steined. We got the last boss of Dark Cloud. Is a is a, a big lad. He's a very unhappy lad. And he hits you with some stuff that is only weak to a certain element of damage. So part of what happens is that his little dumb hand comes up. Stupid asshole that he is. I think it's only two deliciously fresh, so they can only get one more of these. The stupid little fucking hand comes up. You look at what color the eye is. And then you go into your menu real quick. And you assign the counter element thing to deal with him. And then you whack him. And I remember very distinctly, chat literally screaming and rioting, slamming their keyboards with a sweaty fervor I've never seen before. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the worst gameplay ever. You have to go into your menu to swap these things. This is horrible. And then praise the shit out of Majora's Mask where I want to say 70% of my gameplay is switching stupid shit out on the mask screen to do anything. <laughs> And everyone can't stop fucking jacking off at how good it is. And you know, it makes me a little bit salty. Makes me a little bit salty. Can I just like get water? I don't want fish. I just want water. I got a fish. There is also water in the bottle. Is it like... Is it okay if there's also a fit? The fish swam right back into my bottle. He does not, he is, gets very shy. Doesn't want to be left alone. Welcome. It's not, I don't think it's actually possible to just get water out of this pond. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on the land. You're gonna sit over here. Bunny boy, is that 47 months? You're gonna sit on the elevator to the cool guy penthouse. You're almost there. You with the shiniest squidling. There we go. I'm gonna put this out there. Another stream right now has the unpopular opinion they like Majora's Mask less each time they play it. Well, my theory uh, for that uh, development would simply be that it's not a very good game. <laughs> like, that's really, I mean, that's just really where I'm at. And my opinion hasn't really changed since I started playing this. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. I would say leaving the emulator game to actually play it is markedly better. But it's not good. Do I have any arrows? Fuck, I don't have any arrows. I can't actually get through these. I don't have any deco sticks either. I literally can't get through these. Yes. Jimmy dickhead. Okay, so I need to get to the place that sticks first. What do you want? You want bugs. Like, four people want bugs, so I was just gonna get a shit ton of bugs. What do you want? You also want bugs. Okay, both of you want bugs. Which are probably behind these spider webs. but again, I don't have any way to transmit fire yet. I don't have any arrows or sticks at the moment. I'm all stuck. I don't have any bombs, which means I can't kill the hand. I would like to be smooshed, please. I did not smoosh me. Smoosh me. How did I get fucking smushed that one time? There we go. Like, send me to the start. That's all I want. Oh, I didn't even say you to start. It sends you to the last door. Well, that's even worse. That's like that, but with no upsides. I should have let the fucking wall master Wallmaster grab me. I realize now that Wallmaster is actually a convenience tool. He's there to make your life easier. He's not there to be a menace, he's there to help you get out of the dungeon real quick. What am I doing? Why don't I just play the fucking song of fuck off? I have this. I don't think I can do it inside a dungeon. No tactical smoosh, no tactical smoosh. 
But really, is this game garbage? No, absolutely not. I'm definitely still playing. I want to do some shit in it for sure. Uh, but it's... Let me drink some absorption potions real quick. I feel like it is just... Really just not good. I am aware of the circumstances of Dinah's development. I am. And that it feels like a shitty Ocarina of Time ROM hack. Because for a lot of intents and purposes, it kind of is a shitty Ocarina of Time ROM hack. It's just an official Ocarina of Time ROM hack. But it's just. It's just so much worse. Maybe it's not worse than Ocarina. Maybe I would go back at this point in the year of our Lord 2022 almost and play Ocarina of Time and think to myself, wow, this is dog shit. Because it's all so horrible. Let's go see if we can find the guy who wants the spring water first and then go back the other direction. Ice keys. This is the room that's really annoying. They look arrows. They look sticks. All I had to do was go this way first. Oh, Green of Time has less mask menu. But, like, admittedly, mask menu, while uh, fucking annoying, is far from the greatest of this game since. Getting nuts. I haven't gotten nuts yet. I know nuts come from somewhere else. Nuts, I think, come from the room with all the webs, maybe? You just want a fish. I got you, fam. I got you, buddy. Here's a fish. I'm sure there are parts of Ocarina that don't stand up. Unfortunately, a lot of the general premises of this game are the parts that don't stand up. I played Ocarina of Time like three years ago on the 3DS. I had no nostalgia for it. It was the okayest game I've ever played. Well, I have... I have always held... a relatively unpopular opinion that Ocarina of Time ain't that great either. A lot of people enjoy waxing poetic and waxing their dick about Ocarina of Time. It ain't that great. I think it's way better than this. I think Ocarina of Time gets a big pass for being the, like, the big 3D transition. And admittedly, they did a lot, Zelda did a lot better of a big 3D transition than a lot of other games did. A lot of games pooped their pants really, really, really hard on the big 3D transition. <laughs> So many fucking people want bugs. I need so many bugs. <laughs> but it ain't that great. It's all right. The okayest game I've ever played is an incredibly accurate assessment of looking at time my memory. What do you want? You want, okay, you want big pot, that's where we got stuck. Okay, so, we're, so we can't do this swing right now. So we're done this swing for the moment. We have our nuts, which lets us go left here, because this guy just wants nuts. TP's your personal favorite. I think Twilight Princess, I mean, they got the formula down really well. I think Wind Waker or Twilight Princess is definitively the good one. <laughs> Which one? Hard to say. I really like them both, honestly. Maybe I'm just fucking contrarian, because I think uh, Skyward Sword is great. I think the only downside Skyward Sword has... We never did figure out what the fuck this is. We never solved this one. The only downside Skyward Sword has is the weird motion control shit. Which is just kind of a factor of that it's... Oh, this guy wants Poopas. The fact that it's a Wii U game, or a Wii game, or both, I don't fucking remember, Wii game. And that was just how the Wii was. The Wii was a gimmick masquerading as a console. Okay, bugs. Let me literally get three of these fucking things. Oh, because it's 
on. Okay, you gotta go a little faster, buddy. You gotta go a little faster. Yep. Need more of these. Need at least three of these shitheads. And the imprisoned. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. It's definitely got some weak points. Like, it ain't perfect. The imprisoned, uh, maybe could have... Could have improved the game significantly by simply not existing. Game devs hate him for this one small trick. Just don't do the same fight three times. Especially when it's not a very good fight. I think I want to bugs. I still don't want to bugs. A little on the left here. Are you bugs guy? Yes. Here you go. Then the imprisonment will be at Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> Oh no. Oh shit, I didn't play the saga slow the fuck down. Day two already. Or night one, rather. Oh, the story is Skyward Sword and they moved the motion controls to the remake of it, didn't they? How could they possibly have removed the motion controls from Skyward Sword? That's like the whole game. Visible spiders? Did we ever come in here? I don't know that we came in this room. I don't think we did come in this room. Remember this. Most of the controls are. Optional, you can use a tire to use the abysmal joystick controls. Yeah, like the directional slashing and blocking and shit is a huge part of the game. I have no idea how you would play that without motion controls. When you're Z targeting, a second joystick input to use your motion controls since the camera isn't needed. I guess that's. That was pointless. Dead? I'm on a level with you. Sounds horrible. Sounds <laughs> like. I. The motion controls were annoying. They weren't that bad. But they were definitely the weakest part of the game, like they are in pretty much all games that have motion controls. The Switch's motion sensing is way better too. I mean, we've... Technology has gone forward. We have better shit now. You want... Where the hell have I not been? Where are you? This is the hot spring. We haven't found the guy who wants the hot spring yet. And then this direction, both guys want bugs. So here's two of bugs. One of them... Hot spring water, I think, was behind the guy who wants ten bombs. So I think I need the ten bombs guy first. Oh my god. Frank, come on. We got, you gotta stop. You're a goddamn menace. There you go. Please, Twilight Princess, they were attending Cal. Yeah, Twilight Princess, you just attacked by doing this vigorously. Instead of putting any modicum of thought into your, your adventures, you just kind of wiggled vicariously. Similar to the frantic mashing of the A button that is attacking in this game at Ocarina. Fairy fountain. Okay. That is, I would rate, not helpful out of 10. That's okay. useless. You have ten bombs? Shit, zillion dollars in here. 
Okay, so you can't actually do this in one streak. I thought, well, maybe. There's still a chance. There's still the two areas behind the webs. But I'm, st which is actually, I just walked past. I'm starting to think you may not be able to do this in one streak. Depends on if you can get a bunch of bombs in these little large ways. The problem is I need bombs to get the big power. Bugs. Alrighty, we're good on the bug. Surpass the bug problem. These are just little dickheads. Oh no, they're bombs! They're little dickheads, but they're also bombs. Okay. Fair enough. Which means I should grab some hot spring water on the way out. Probably need it by then. Hold this. That's mine. Bomb can also be dickhead. I think that's more dickhead can also be bomb. Ooh, a zapper. I'm gonna click on that so I get slightly more points to refund the absorption potions I'm using. I've gone back to the Nightmare Zone grind Gib stats. I'm just on a normal fucking rumble fighting a shitty skeleton and a big ass orange snake and 12, co 12 clones of Count Draenor. Count Draenor and his 15 closest friends. Want the Boombas? Who <laughs> wanted the fucking hot spring water? This just goes to the Poe fight. Who wanted the fucking spring water? This shit's gonna cool down. You want. Oh, right, no, this, this was that. This was the hot spring water. It was the. Multi sequential experience. There, I'm stupid. cow because somebody wanted milk well nobody wanted milk yet but i theorized that somebody is gonna want milk is any iron man playthrough gonna be in a separate playlist than os than our osrs with the bugs probably that's a hexy question probably this cow is in cow jail does your grass have anything no okay. i assume milk is gonna be a requested item at some point Compared to the fact that it's here. I'm gonna fight Casper's dad. This is literally outside of the map. Shoot him until he falls over. Casper, the stupid asshole. I want to catch up since I work on Wednesdays and can't watch him. Well, good news, it's very easy to catch up on. We have accomplished almost literally nothing. It's the. Absolute primal new player experience. We have done almost literally nothing of value. I guess that's not true. We've actually done like 12 or 15 free-to-play quests. We've done, I think at this point, a lot more free-to-play quests than we haven't. Most of the ones we have left are the ones that... I don't know the boys can do without horrible death. Here's a ghost. I don't know why you want this, but there you go. Because we obviously got we got the dragon slayer, we got the demon slayer, we got the vampire slayer, which isn't hard, but we gotta get over Mono's PTSD. The 
because currently his PTSD and his fear is uh, much greater than his desire for vengeance. Just making him not want to do that. But we've only got like your Slayers and Cor uh, Corsair's Curse. And Corsair's Curse will fucking kill you. You will, you will die. Oh my god. Frank's brother's fake. Maybe can help out this weekend at work. This guy probably wants milk. Do you want milk? I'm gonna guess you want milk. Something rich in calcium. This guy's got bonitis. Here you go, buddy. I got you. Yeah, Corsair's curse actually kind of fucks. Like, I didn't know because I had only done the Below Ice Mountain boss, you know, when it came out and I was already combat like 80 fucking five and just pooed on it and died. Yeah, the wizard at the end of Corsair's Curse will fucking kill a new player. 100%. That dude goes hard. He ain't a little pussy boy. So I've been avoiding Corsair's Curse. But I think all we have left really are spells or quests that say Slayer, Corsair's Curse, and like... Witch's potion. Da, da, da. It's a mirror shield. Yeah, well, it makes sense we get that before the arrows of light completely negate the reason it exists. Why is my mirror shield screaming? It looked like this in Ocarina of Time. Like, it's been a minute since I've played Ocarina of Time, I guess, but like. Was the mirror shield screaming kill me in Ocarina? Because I don't feel like it was. It was the fancy moon thing. Yeah, it wasn't screaming for death. As if it is funny, you only ever get the mirror shield in rooms that might as well have a large sign that says, here be the mirror shield. Ah uh, yes, it's time for the two mechanics of the mirror shield. Pointing at the sun and pointing at the block that has the sun painted on it. Alright, well, I'm gonna have agonizing despair on my back for the rest of the game now, I guess. Oh, that also leads into the ancient castle of Icona. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Throw the fuck off and leave me alone, miss. <laughs> That's how you, I mean, I, I could get in there now with the mirror shield, but they go, they go ahead and do a step for you by just putting it right in here after you get it. Because the mirror shield will let me remove that block at the entrance. Wait, are there still more ghosts? Okay. Still doing this shit. Hello? There he is. World shittiest assassin. What matters that you tried? Give me your secrets. A hole can be opened in the ceiling of a particular room in Iconic Castle. It cannot be broken without an explosive with incredible might. This guy pretty much just straight up told me go get a powder keg. 
When the game tells me something, I'll listen. Uh, that, that guy pretty much just like a dev came out and said, Hey, I'll just go ahead and stop here right now. You're gonna need a powder keg to finish this. Okay. I appreciate that. I'll go get a powder keg. Thank you. Saves me getting all the way in there and then not being able to do it. Go did a break. It's literally a living sheet with swords. Keg me. I guess that's why they gave me a huge amount of money in that dungeon. To make sure I had at least $50. I don't know how that's the interaction that happened. Wait, is it the third? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. Uh, I'd like a powder keg. I'm willing to pay the fucking markup. I'm lazy as shit. Oh, wait, no. The markup is from the manufacturer. You will buy me them for half price. Because nothing makes sense. Thank you. It looks like he wants to go purchase a powder keg before you play the song of healing. I think... 40% of... 40%. I'm gonna say 40%. Oh, 40% what? I think 40% of your time playing Majora's Mask is either in one of these two menus, swapping some shit in the most tedious way imaginable, or watching a uh, 12 second cutscene that's tied to every third action you do in the whole game. That's not the mask. Be that either the Song of Soaring cutscene, or the Myriad Song of Time cutscenes, or whatever. Dude, my god. Am I not aiming at something? Wish I could see. Oh, Crystal of the Room, thank you. Link was not going into his face. Dude, this isn't where I parked my car. More flashbacks of King Zora slowly scooting out of the way in a period of time. Yes, Tattle? I don't think I do, no, I don't think I can help you. Oh god, my mask summoned the unseen! You guys are just terrible at this. An entering Iconic Castle is under a secret route apart from the well entrance. Thanks. This. This motherfucker stands, he stands at the back door. He's posted at the back door. And when you come in, his advice is, did you know there's a back door? <laughs> what is the situation? Tattle's little ringing is just kind of telling you there's one nearby, I figure. I think you try to find it because they have an incredibly small radius of actually popping. You know, you get you win and you lose these guys sometimes. Some of them tell you you need a powder keg, and some of them are like, hey, did you know that the door you just came in exists? You get 50-50. Secret, please. Shit better be more secret than the previous secret. Three dads and I cut our once members the castle's dancing troupe.
I believe one of them told me that these three masks would stop the undead from attacking me, and I guess that's why Camaro's mask, and the Redead specifically, I guess that's why Camaro's mask is included. I'm going to do the weird ghost dance for them. Hot. Something got so horribly wrong that I die with a fairy that, like, I feel like I deserve to have lost that encounter. Yeah, let's go inside. I don't know that I needed him to tell me that. I feel like I could have figured that one out on my own. Oh, this one does not protect me, actually. Sorry, I'm trying to dance. You interrupted my vibes here. It's the worst. Never do anything. Uh, I guess we just lose, but very slowly. Yeah, I think we just lose very slowly. I think this is a perma stun. I got one second of character movement. Return to dancing, please. Thank you. How ready to cast hold person when he makes a save against hold person. Give me your money. Give me a fucking money. Song of healing, the baby. Right now, I kind of smile their fucking money. Why they set up so many ice switches? Nothing else is frozen, so they must have done this on purpose. I just made a bunch of icy switches in here. This is motherfucker's pointless. Um... But look at the ceilings, because somewhere there is a ceiling that could get fucculated. shoulders. Just, just get on it. Just, get on top of it. It's like waist high. The DM says you can't. Just... Sorry, that's not one of the options in the book.
You have to randomly pick flowers until you find the one that actually gives you enough height to get on top of that wall. Well, that's a fun mechanic. Just hit flowers at random until it works. Nope. Too low. That's, that's, that's fun. This is fun. I like this. Having fun. Next random flower. Oops, that one. We did it! We won! That was fun. I had fun. Did you guys have fun? Oh, the top of it's made of explosives. Alright, fair enough. Fly over that button and press it. And then I fall in a hole. Uh, well, let's do it. I might be able to jump back over. This might be a jumpable gap. It's not very long. Right, I'd like to press this button, please. Okay. Let's actually open the door. Not quite jumpable. Does that reset the door? Yes, so you have to survive. He's part of the system. Which means this is slightly more complicated than it first appears. Holy fucking spiders. <laughs> Why are there so many spiders? Is this bait and there's actually a secret floor? It is? Right, this guy has like no hops. Bait indeed. Oh, it's also ice to be as annoying as possible. game deciding that I can't pull out my bow. I don't know why necessarily, but I can't. Because fuck off, that's why. Get back. Puzzle solved. Desert and ice. I mean, that's really like ice platforms. Huge personal issues. I'm glad Led's the truth occurred to me. I don't know if I'm not giving the devs credit. Because I don't usually think to pull out the lens of truth. But something about this room, I just like I felt it. I don't know if it's actually really well signaled, and it's well done enough that I can't even directly. That was, a, that, was, that was a fun room. What a fun room. Uh, then I can't even directly tell you what the signal was. But it's a thought I don't ever have, and I had it. So, something about the presentation there. Put that in my head. Done. Dollar. Looking for somewhere to blow some shit up. Probably this looks like it might be. Oh no, there's just an upstairs somewhere. No, it is the roof. Okay. I can blow up. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. I'm just gonna level with him. I'm gonna shoot him with my gun. Not his fault. It's more the two fucking curse bubbles, this horrific mechanic. Um, but I'm just gonna shoot you with my gun if that's cool. What do you got? 
To counter the rage of the King of Iconic Castle, burn away that which disrupts the light and shine the sacred cave. Let's uh, use the item you just got on the boss. What the fuck is that? going on up here. Now nah, he's in bird jail, you stupid idiot. triangle is. I don't really want to go down there right this sec. <laughs> Assassins are these terrible vex eaters. Oh, they're sure as shit on assassins. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that can happen from up here that I get to try exactly one time um, then I have to go all the way back around. Hmm. I'm gonna go press that button. Launcher to get me back up top, or am I in jail? Well, oh, give me this, and then I maybe can use this to get back up top. Well, what did I see? Indeed. I don't make a habit of leaving shit unfinished. It just happens sometimes when uh, chat interest wanes almost completely. Like Dark Cloud, which is unfortunate because I like Dark Cloud, but uh, by the end, I was one of the very few. I don't think it was Dark Cloud's fault. Why are there two of these? I think it was my wildly over-ambitious treasure trawler's fault. Where's the JK of Palin? Welcome on in. Oh, because the fence goes too far. Maybe I jump to this one. I see. All right, so in exchange, I receive peace of heart. You receive going back to the beginning of the dungeon. Deal. Trade deal accepted. Trade deal fully accepted. Song of healing? Is that what the video game wants? It didn't give me the doo 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 like I'm doing a right thing when I pulled the ocarina out, so probably not, but I'm gonna try it anyway. That ghosts. Yeah, they're just dickheads. Give me your fucking money. Give me your fucking money! Thank you. Ah. I don't know what the hell you just did, but knock that shit off. Oh, there's light here, apparently. Also, it kills the hands, apparently. I just learned a lot of shit on accident. That's okay, we take that. Easy oopsie knowledge. Spicy. 
this motherfucker. Yeah, the Cossack Dance. This game is just a rough hang. So that is perhaps the hole we made by hitting the switch. It actually might have just happened to do this in the right order, maybe. What am I looking at? A whole lot of people's favorite Zelda game, apparently. Also, like, $60. But later. Are you the guy I was literally just warned about, or are you the same shitty mini boss as the last time? You're the same shitty mini boss as last time. Hey Jim, what if we just do this boss fight for a third time? With absolutely no changes. We you think that's we do that? Yeah, fuck it, ship it. Okay, well, there's that fight, but a third time. Gas production in here. Crappy raw pack. That's what we're doing, I guess. Okay. Ow. Hello. Where the powder keg goes. What do you think? Looks pretty powder keggy to me. Well, they probably just made that animation as a joke, and they're like, oh no, no, but that's going in the fucking game. That's 100% going in the fucking game. I made a haul. I appreciate you, the one ninja guy who said anything of value outside, who said, go get a powder keg. I thank you, that guy. You were a useful guy. Guys, I apologize. I'm trying to collect all this money. Just, you know, Link's just so powerful. I can't help but accidentally murder everybody. I'm gonna keep this mask on. Oopsie poopsie. Whoopsie doodles. Hi. Right. I see the curtains are gonna go down. I'm gonna burn the curtains. I'm gonna give them the light. This man. Oh no, I was going for my funny voice mod thingy. I was gonna be. Oh no. Uh, I was gonna read it all like this. It was gonna be funny, but it progressed automatically in like one second. And I didn't have time to set everything up, and so here we are. Not even reading whatever he said, it just looks like it's sort of a genetic, literally true darkness. Alright, 
consider better shades. Old school style posing this? Do you do you need a bomb? We are old school style posing this, okay. Oh. Decided not to die. Oh now this affects you? Now this affects you? in the light. Why do I have to do anything? Praise the sun, bitch. Functional encounters I've ever seen. And like any game. Bobber Man. Invincible body. Invincible head. Fly around just making a generalized business. They just continue on until he gets a hit on you, and then that ends the phase, so I guess just give him a heart. Get it over with. Fight 
That's definitely the best part, because the fact we've already literally killed him. Ruxa TV, hello. Welcome. Boy, I should wish this did anything. What are you doing, sir? Welcome in. Okay, fine. I guess do that again. I guess just do this. It's a productive mechanic, which we all learn a lot about ourselves. How you doing? How did you scream? What do you scream? Is it Majora's Mask? And if so, why? What happened in your life? That... You are literally standing in the light, sir. Played on Green of Time. Oh, that's like this game, but better. Okay, now, can we convince this to work before he stands back up? Probably not, no. Oh, yeah, okay, well, it, it decided, it deigns to work. We got it. We have been graced by the weird light mechanic functioning at all. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for the raid. I'm squiddish. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I haven't really played this game before. Um, so far, it's a profound not good out of ten. <laughs> but, but a great legion of people swear by this as their favorite Zelda experience, if not their favorite experience, and there has to be a reason for that. And I have as of yet not figured out what that is. But all kinds of shit here. This whole blind playthrough thing is kind of my jam. It's not always super old retro shit. Sometimes it's RuneScape, which is admittedly one of the worst decisions a human being can make as a blind playthrough of RuneScape without googling anything. Don't do that to yourself. Very first Zelda game ever for me, actually. I love it so much. Oh, great at time! I remember being, being pretty okay. I didn't get this one. I didn't have this one when I was but a youth. He beat us is because I have an infinity health, which gave me plenty of time to brute force your fight into any degree of functionality, you fool. It says strong little sun energy. Welcome it's not to as good. To the squiddy pool. But Sadu would be proud. Rygek in 66 months, five and a half fucking years in this pool. You were the shiniest squidling. Thank you, my friend. That's a fucking ton to do in a row, even, without even dropping at all. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying Ocarina. I would say most Zelda games are spectacular. I would not say that this is one of them, but I would say that most of them are phenomenal, and I would highly recommend playing them. If you like Ocarina at time, I don't know if you're... What what drove you to trying it for the first time, seeing as you haven't apparently played Zelda Stop games right before? There, criminal scum. Oh, and hey, you can have a hat too. Chat's got you. Can we watch it? You seem great. Well, you're in stream for a reason, is the thing. You're in the awkward post raid zone where you show up and you're like, hey, what's up? I do need to leave immediately. That's the reason I stopped streaming and raided you. Uh, but okay, bye. <laughs> it's. It's always a little weird, but hey, have a hat. Asakna's got one for you, and I have a gift from the channel. I haven't seen any of your emotes, but uh, mine is better. I'm sorry, it just is. This is the pinnacle of human creation. The secret was not to find artists or hire somebody on Fiverr who knows what they're doing. The secret was to open up Microsoft Paint and just make trash. <laughs> that's how you do it, right there. Just had to kill a bunch of squids today. No, it's okay, they're Octorox, that's different. You get a pass. Anyway, while these two skulls are arguing about who has the tiniest skeletal penis, which is gonna go on Possibly forever. Yeah, brain's not really this dude's strong point. Marshmallow, are you trying to get in the backside of the hammock? 
you know how to get in the hammock. There you go. He's trying to, like, pull it over and climb in from the front because that's the ledge he's on and he was too lazy to go around. That was a brewing disaster. I had to switch the scene over on the off chance that he tried to go in the front and just fell and ate shit because it was going to be hilarious. But he, he figured out, he gave up. He realized what was best in the world. <laughs> he went to the not stupid side and went in that way. Oh shit, I gotta eat me some uh, absorption potions real quick. Red Stop vibe right hammock. Criminal scum. Red Vibe is chilling. These rats are, are, are just sitting, having a good time. Hold on. Petite Pigeon, you're the shiniest squidling here, but one sec. Let me... Let me... Uh... Introduce, perhaps, this heap of idiots, raiders. There's three of them you can see right there, I think. There's Dingus is in the log house. He is super unconscious. I could poke him and absolutely nothing would happen. Uh, that rat sleeps so hard. Theodore on the left, there was a very small amount of motion. And I don't know where Bratwurst is. I don't see Bratwurst. He's in there somewhere. Uh, oh, this... There's four of them total. They have entirely too much space. Because this... Whole contraption right here. That's not even their cage. Get this camera. That's half of their cage. There's a whole bottom level. And they have an entire playpen full of crap. They love Pringles cans. Fucking animals. These are the most spoiled rats on the planet absolutely spoiled they have never faced one single challenge in their entire life i th i got new shoes the other day and so i threw my old shoes in the playpen because dingus the one's unconscious in the log house uh when he would get out and go on his adventures would always go straight to the shoe cabinet and he uh, didn't try to eat them, but he had a great interest. So I was like, fuck it. These shoes are garbage. Here you go. <laughs> Do what you wish. Not two or three of them face the challenge of living with dingus. <laughs> living with dingus is one of the greatest challenges. One of the greatest possible challenges you could ever face, really. Here, while we're while we're on rats real quick, let me hit you with one more thing here. I can demonstrate. As I, as I just I went through the effort of trying to get this stupid thing in the Dropbox yesterday, and I think I have perhaps discovered a way I can have this work. Hmm, Windows is protesting something. It just popped up a literally blank error box. I'm going to choose to ignore that. It's probably not important. Here, I can show you Dingus. Let me see if I can do this. Let me get a window capture. Let me... That's my playlist. It's not actually the playlist. What I want... Oh, no. I can't window capture this. You could literally only pick okay all right all right all right all right so so not you then okay let me try if i display capture we're going to we're gonna go infinite do you guys want to go infinite for a moment here we go we're gonna embrace infinity behold <laughs> 
<laughs> the alt. The eternal depths. Embrace the infinite void of OBS capturing itself in perpetuity because that's the only way I can figure out how to put this fucking video up while I have the N64 plugged into the capture card. Here is Dingus, summarized. I tried to put a vest on him so I could have like a little leash so I could let him walk around the house and not have to worry about him getting into shit. He did not agree. <laughs> he did not agree with the vest. This was not something that he was interested in. <laughs> he was fucking unhappy. He didn't want it. He didn't want it. No one is <laughs> like, he was not pleased. Oh, God. But it was so funny. Holy shit, it was so funny. He was so content while I was holding him, and I put the little vest on, and he's like, Oh, neat, what is this? And then I got it on, and I, like, clicked the little snipper snapper things. And then it, something in his brain just went, I hate this. No. <laughs> oh, it's never not going to be funny. Doesn't matter how many times I've watched that, it's never not going to be funny. <laughs> Do not want. Uh, okay. Maybe this conversation is getting somewhere valuable. Kingdom is ruined. Us. Stop this shit. In the petty little battles like this that have caused it. Did you just send them to the Shadow Realm? What? Believing in your friends. Embracing that belief by forgiving failure. Feelings have vanished from our hearts. It'll happen after somebody opened the door and said, Tower over there. You who brought light to my lair. I am king of Iconic Kingdom. Egos do Icona. The spell bind that have been cast upon us is broken by the light that you carry. That's the sun. That light... That light is the sun? I'm not carrying any light. That's your window. That's... Are you okay? This is just a mirror. It just... Re to return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower. The winds of darkness flow through. Stone Tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. Far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so... I grant you a soldier who has no heart. One who will not falter in the darkness. One who will pull down buttons for you probably while you're dealing with some other shit. dropping some bars, all right? Bon Jovi energy coming out of that one. I dig it. Oh, I hate that. Duh. I hate that! <laughs> okay. Why? Can I unlearn it? 
mystical song that allows you to shed a shell. Shaved into your current image. Lank meet lonk. Playing the song while you're different, while you're masked or some different forms, you'll be able to four empty shell. Holy shit. This is gonna suck ass. Okay. So, hey, you know that thing I was just complaining about, about how 40% of this game is spent at a menu trying to switch your fucking masks around? Um, we gotta, those are rookie numbers. We gotta pump those numbers up. Uh, I'm going for 65 Oh, sorry. It was 40% of sc was in the mask menu, assigning hotkeys, slash, watching pointless eight-second animations for things like the Song of Soaring or putting on a transformation mask. Oh, baby. Are you ready, ready for 45 seconds at a time of song inputs and eight-second micro cutscenes? Oh, no. Okay. This is gonna blow. This soldier has no horns or twin image. Shell of yourself, you will shed when your song commands it. In my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Let's hope the others aren't as cursed. Well, let's find out. Let's see just how fucking cursed they are, because this one is fucking cursed. This one is fucking cursed. That's so fucking cursed. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> hey, Miss Girlfriend! I want to get your opinion on something. I don't know how cursed you think this is. I don't know if you've really seen much N64 tier graphics where you can kind None. of, yeah, like, well, this is what it looks like just in general. This is supposed to be like this big looks regal than fucking That's throne room good. here. Uh, how cursed is this? That's horrible. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I should make all of our character art like that for a horror campaign. This is a video game. <laughs> like like a main Zelda video game that was released. <laughs> the people love, apparently. That is fucking cursed. <laughs> like, I feel like they didn't need to add the mouth with lips and teeth and dimples. And a gum line <laughs> when you have like two holes for a nose. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit of a mismatch here. That's that's pretty incredible. That's <laughs> pretty fucking cursed. Oh, I hate that. That's a uh, that's not a thing. Also, I love how much this shield just clips into me all the time because it's way too big, and they just didn't care literally at all. Okay, thank you, Miss Girlfriend. Okay, well, let's make an align uh, I'll make a lineup of cursed images here. I'll go around this way. I'll go clockwise, like civilized humans. There we go. Oh, like, I forgot the song immediately. <laughs> Please stand by. It's kind of complicated. So I have to think about for one second. That one's fine. I don't know why he's naked. This one's not naked. This one got to have clothes. I don't know why he's naked. All the why are you why are you naked? He's a little naked baby, and he's got leaps for hair. But he's like dramatically less cursed. You gotta do those first three, and then it's just a full circle around the, uh, the seat stick pad thing.
That one just looks fucking mad. Holy shit, that one's pissed. That dude's upset. His fist is the size of the entire Deku. That one's grumpy as fuck. Okay, he's just generally angry. He didn't want to be included. We didn't ask for his opinion. We just kind of forced this upon him. Fair. Fair and reasonable reaction. Looks like he's trying to go Super Saiyan. Super Goron, I guess. What do you look like, fish boy? Also, a preview of the next, like, six hours of gameplay probably is just this. Someone got a picture of this guy the very instant he realized that that was not a safe fart to push out. The, <laughs> the very absolute moment he realized he had made a terrible mistake. And there was no coming back from that. <laughs> he pushed just a little bit too hard. Like so someone walked in on him naked and he grabbed his guitar to cover up? Yeah, maybe. He's got pants on though, or maybe that's just, maybe he is naked. I can't really tell. Any? No, I think it's. I think that's just him. I don't know. Zora's ever wear clothes really. All right. Well, we can now make four little statues. Well, only one of them is horrifically cursed. Now the follow-up question is: How effective is it to just make a wall of statues and then just do this to all the enemies on the other side? Come at me, fools! You'll never breach the bunker I'm spinning to win. And there's just a wall. Like, imagine they're on the back side of this barrier. They can't even get to me. Because there's a literal wall in front of them. I can get the spin to win input at least 40% of the time. Okay. So. We learned to drop some sick beats. We got exactly one supremely cursed statue. And three statues that aren't horrible. I think at this point we can actually just warp out. I think we're done here. I think that's what we needed. Oh, you can't do it while you're inside, right? I have to walk out. That's what we were after, lads. My bad. I'm fucking loaded. I'm actually maxed on money. I'm ready to go home and uh, deposit some coins into my Bank of America account real quick. Because I'm fucking wealthy. Hello? Why are my fingers? Why are my fingers failing me? Do finger shit. Thank you. Push the buttons. I need to go bank my $500 I got from that dungeon. Alright, I was supposed to go... I was supposed to go prevent the crime of the bomb bag. Mailman's going about his business doing mailman shit. Going on an adventure. Okay. Ouch. I don't think I can buy the bass without preventing the crime first. Ah, oh, crap. I'm nine hours late to save that old lady. Damn it. They got me. Here's all of this money. You have $3,500 now, and I hope I need zero uh, because I gave you all of them. Take the fucking mask off. Boy, I didn't even consider how much spamming of that song and transformation mask juggling I'm gonna have to do. And on top of that, even better, I still need the actual items that I'm gonna need to navigate the area like the hookshot. Oh well, such is life. Hello, it is me, I'm here. So this area ended up actually being extremely linear. Far more than I had expected. 
you basically you go to the top, you play the Song of Storms to Sharp. It makes the water come out. You rob the little girl's house. Then you go do the Gibdo hole. We don't do this one, right? This one just goes bonk. Yeah, we don't do the bonk. This one, ab this one abducts you for six seconds into a micro cutscene. This is about to be the worst shit on the planet. This is gonna be 3,700 micro cutscenes. Bitch. I'll be salty forever. I will be salty forever. All the people rioting in the fucking chat about how badly designed the Dark Cloud last boss was because you have to go in the menu to switch your elements. I'm fucking praising this shit. I'll be salty until the day I die. I can't do that if I fucking tried. And also, because these have an order... For literally no reason... Other than to make you go around... I guess it's a puzzle. I guess it's a puzzle. Like... Depends on where you put your bar for puzzle, I suppose. I wouldn't say it's a puzzle. Ouch. Only one functional order. I'm already upset and we just fucking started. Why is this a song? Oh, he's too light to hold the button down. Kek W. I have to do it with the Zora. Twelve hours later. Another Viamos. You're gonna be a generalized menace to society. N64 coding limitation. Every game on the N64 is coded Eldritch Spaghetti. I wonder if it's an N64 coding limitation that they, they can't move the thing without like transitioning to a cutscene. That's honestly super possible. Yes, we have to start with this one here. 
Because this takes the tiny block man and does the tiny block man thing. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to watch two cutscenes now as it also fucks up the bottom level. Three cutscenes, because we have to make the statue. And then we have to fuck up the bottom level? I guess we already we already watched the cutscene for doing the top level. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that's fine. That was the song. Was it not? Like if the camera's focused on it, you can't move. Well, it's not not so much that. I'm thinking deeper, deeper than that. Like, since the thing is an actual physical entity with which the player can interact, like a solid object that has collision and is terrain, does they need to lock the player into a cutscene while it's moving? to prevent clown fuckery. That's my theory, possibly. I get friends of a statue when I'm so light it's useless game design. Made a bridge. They just fuck up to the large object in motion. Well, or like they can't easily code it in anything other than A state and B state, and it moving is just a visual. Because I I know that a lot of stuff on the N64 is again it's Eldritch magic, and state based triggers barely existed. So that the creation of the mask system. I see, Tattle. Anyway. A lot of pointless buttons. wonder if they're just to get back down, perhaps. Anyway. The mass system's kind of big brain. Because it masks the fact that they literally probably couldn't code. Those are pods. You having different dialogues and different interactions with different NPCs without you being a, a completely different entity. Which I think is why so many characters in the game, if they have a specific interaction with any mask and it's not just copy paste interaction with maskless Link, they tell you to fuck off if you're wearing any mask except the one they want to interact with because they then had to pre create a different state for every mask. The fuck? Oh, I see. This place sucks. This place is a fucking menace. Oh my god. Thank you. There's an actual goddamn menace. Oh, baby. Okay. One more puzzle. That would clank on the middle block if the middle block was there. That clanks on the middle block, so I think we have our order. I see left is kind of shitty is what it is. I think I have this controller existing for two decades and the C left button just is not what it used to be. I think it's specifically C left that's having some problems. I would like to chug an absorption potion while my 10 cutscenes play. Big chungus.
Yeah, I got another absorption potion on my next 10 cutscenes play. I've gotten 121k strength XP during this stream, chat. We're progressing. We're doing stuff. That block definitely just zoomed through a different block. Order of operations found. Kaz we ripped doing all these cutscenes. I'm just in Nightmare Zone slapping a fucking snake and 20 clones of Condrainor and also myself. Oh, they actually did clank. They did clank on the reset. That's interesting. I didn't expect it to. I thought they were just going to say fuck it reset anyway. So it's the morning of the second day. Probably shouldn't start a dungeon right now. That was a little late to have that revelation. What I should have done was reset as soon as I struck the owl. But I want to, like, look in it. It's the same music. The music doesn't change going into the dungeon. Dead. 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 There we go. We called it. Oh, he's in the middle. Is a bomb rat having a tough time? There's a sunny thing. Oh, he figured out how to get over here. So his fuse is literally infinite until they figure out how to get to you. They will, they will not, like, run out and die. Knowledge. I do vaguely have memories of this. This is the upside down you know? I remember the Upside Downy Temple. I remember the concept of the Upside Downy Temple, and that's about as far as that goes. Well, let's go back. Let's go back. Give us maximal time. And get fucking cruising. Did a lot of nightmares on that. I finally finished off beating my Slayer helmet. I haven't done Slayer in fucking forever. I've had a gargoyle task for so long. It's trying to give me some strength. I'm just dragon scimitaring my way through all this garbage. Turns out your absorption potions last a really long time if you're fighting shit that's level 34. Okay. And before we delve into this dungeon, playlist? I don't know if you're being prescient, but I don't like it. I hope this is not signaling things that are to come in stone tower don't fucking stone tower shit or gulch mind me don't you do it i swear to god don't you fucking do it <laughs> i'm gonna stand up use the bathroom grab me some snacks real quick i'll be back in a couple of minutes everybody don't go too far when i come back we got a dungeon we got a new dungeon oh look at these rats Look at all these rats.
Look at that fucking booty. The log house. Just a butt. Just the butt of the dingus. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Let's... Go. <laughs> Took me a little longer than I anticipated. That pause was not what I wanted. But my fingers are stupid. So it took me a set to get the song mashed out. Take me to Stone Tower. Let us go. I will say I greatly appreciate that the owl teleporter is at the top of Stone Tower rather than the bottom. I will also say... Why is it on this side of the fucking block puzzle? God damn it, are you serious? It really is, like... Playing a few hours of Skyrim and then realizing you forgot to save is an intended fuck, an intended gameplay mechanic of this shit. I really have to do this. You have to do three. You have to do three. I want to try something. I'm going to call this curiosity. Hold on. Can I do this easily? I'm gonna... We're going to add a small amount of... First of all, Slow my shit down. I'm gonna add a small amount of personal curiosity. Yeah, go there. And like, which one is it that trims? Just give me, give me this. Just give me, give me just this little timer right here. I wanna know how much time did the devs Intentionally, like they did this on purpose. I gotta move my statue, so we got a we got a fair choice. How much time did they decide they wanted you to waste every time you want to go into the Stone Tower dungeon by making you redo this shit? Okay. Pretty good starting point there. Bam. We're gonna learn something today. We're gonna put an exact number on the amount of time that the developers of Majora's Mask have no value for. Touch. Had a meeting of Mr. Reaction to the Creepy Clown sound. Well, fuck. To be fair, it's just the Link one that's a horrifying demon. The rest of them are more or less okay. I said 45 seconds, so now you gotta go to your menu. Take out another mask, go back to the transformation, touch this real fast, okay. This is fun. Maybe I just have shit fingers. I just have shit fingers. So when you teleport in, when you teleport in to the Stone Tower Owl to commence your dungeoning, the devs, it, on purpose, <coughs> made you about a one minute and 20 second complete and total time waster that you have to go through before you can actually go into the dungeon. Because... Because... I don't know, there's probably logic somewhere. I don't know what that logic is, but it probably exists. Hello, it is I! Dead. 
dead. Easy. Absolute sharpshooter. Rad is like hyped up on crack. Got him. I always go left. Would love a. Well, we want to see a map. All right, I gotta put the girl on my bar. Um, okay, I see a wall. Obviously, it's vulnerable. Can I borrow one of you idiots? No, that one is far too stupid to be left alive. It's endangered himself and others. Tommy, okay, come here. I don't know how you ended up there. I don't know how you were behind me. I have no concept of what happened at the end of that. There is no way this bomb wall just led to a bomb refund. Oh, well, that's a problem. Okay. Okay, fair. Guess I'll put a statue here. Assuming that it will save me time in the future. I had a hope, I had a raw hope, that the Elegy of Emptiness was not really going to be a super recurring mechanic inside the temple itself, and that they got it all out of their system on the run-up. That was obviously wrong. I can't believe this whole room has no berries. Oh, now they're size specific. This is for uh, big chungus. Now we gotta introduce the size mechanic. Simple test. Do you know which of your lads is the largest? Hint, it's the big one. Damn, that's a button, I think. More buttons, so I'm missing. I need to hold them all down simultaneously, and also I might have needed one of those crates I destroyed. Um, so we're gonna reset the room, and we're gonna learn some information. First of all, that does reset the statues. Okay. Did not reset the bomb, but wall did reset the statues. I want to see if the crates can hold a button as well. It might just be, I might not have needed to do this, but we're learning things. We're learning. I wanted to see if statues persisted. We know that they don't. Hi. Oh. Hi. Chris, we down the wall. Fuck. Thank you. That was a good, uh... That switch is like eight inches off the ground. Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at, look at that. That's not even some ROM hack shit. That's some low quality ROM hack shit. Like you would call that out in a ROM hack. Knowing that whoever made that was working, obviously, with what they have, because, like, ROM hacking tool sets are some degree of limited. And you would still be like, you even get that button on the ground, it's floating. This is a whole last game. There was a big box. Crate do work, yes. Crate do... How? What? Camera, please. Majora's Mask is the worst mirror shield in all Zelda. It's pretty bad. I... It's extremely distracting. I, I really am not a fan of the horrible screaming shield that I am coming to accept is going to be on my screen for 100% of the rest of the game. Did I need all four of them? Yes. Okay, so I did need a crate. Could not have done this without a crate. Dead. Dead. See? I don't know why my camera has merged with the floor either. But I would sure love that to stop. 
Okay, since I don't have a map yet, I can't tell where the divides are between rooms. This hasn't lit up once. It's gonna be a fucking dungeon. Holy crap. Aha! It lit up once. Can my camera please leave the floor? I don't know what I did. I regret it. What am I looking at? Problem. It's a problem to which I don't really have the solution. Are you angry, Arma? No, he just, he just, he just vibing. So I think we've done all of that for a comeback later. Seriously, why is my camera... Oh, I can't actually see a hookshot target from here. Okay, hold on. Yep. Fox. Okay. It's so dark. I can't see anything. Holy fuck. It is so dark. Alright, well, we'll come back to this. I think I'm going to do something to open that ceiling. Because this is downstairs, which means there is an upstairs. And that upstairs is theoretically just right here. Can I just blow this open? Is it that easy? Please, somebody, how do I get my camera out of the floor? Please help me. My children are dying. I, I don't know what happened. My camera has become one with the fucking tiles. What did that do? How does that help? I like to walk over there and look, I guess. Oh, there's a fucking chest over here. I didn't even see the chest. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't even see there was a chest. It looked like it was a tiny little cubby hole. Okay, map good. Me like map. Map good. Oh, that one's pissed. One-shots these lads. Absolute unit. Oh, I was gonna get booty. Now he's not getting booty. It's in my ankles. Secondary fairy? No, that was actually mandatory. Okay. Not only was that mandatory, not give us any intel on what a second fairy is. I see, magical red hole. It's a weird icon. Well, I'm not going to think too much about it, because 
Well, the only things I remember about this game is the uppy downy bits. It's very possible whatever it is that I want to do in here can't be done while the room is right side up. Oh. 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 I guess we'll just leave them their business. All right, we go in this door. Now. We have a key. I wish these enemies didn't respawn every time I left the room. That's okay. New room! It's got water. It's the essence of wetness. New room, yes, fairies. Biamos. There's a sunlight block, which is a little weird because the entire room is lit by literal daylight. There's not a ceiling. The sun is shining on you directly. I have no concept of how you're still here. Um. There is what appears to be a Meyer Lurk from Fallout. Upside downy flower thing. And some wetness. Okay. Well, let's fuck with the wetness, I guess. Meyer Lurk is angry. Someone's definitely gonna have to explain to me the logic of the sunlight blocks when there's a fucking bro a room of literal broad daylight. I'm sure I can do that. A room of literal broad daylight and the block is just there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reflect anything on you that's brighter than the sun. I think that one's a little bit beyond me. We're learning to do cool flippy shit. I don't need these for anything before I start just going fucking bananas. There is... Not a roof over that. Very solid fence. <laughs> What's up, Lena Darkwater? How you doing? I don't think I'm pretty fucking tall. Holy shit, I can! Wow! I can't believe I got a bomb over that. I am for one second think that was actually gonna work. Climb on this? No. The question then remains, how do I dispel a light block that is literally just exposed to broad daylight and is still there? It's, it has defied everything I know about these blocks. That switch will open the thing on the other side, but that's not helpful to me because I can't get on the other side. How my fucking bones. There's no way I can fish jump that. That's way too high. Very. But the answer is probably just light arrows, because shut up. But every other dungeon so far has given us either the bow or a type of arrows. Ah! Wonderful. It's the actual water temple. Y'all thought the previous water temple was the water temple. Thank you. But this is the real water temple. This is that shitty fake water temple we had before. With all the machinery. Well, I have a key. I can do it. I don't really want a map right now, though. There's a button. Bunch of weird little deep nuggets. Die when they touch me. My skin is very poisonous. Boomerangu. I regret this. Regular karate. Has anybody ever landed the kick on an enemy? If it slaps off it's got a little fish, you jump out of the water. Yep, now. 
How one of those remains unexploded is one of life's greatest mysteries. I'm gonna file that one and are not helpful. Um, but we'll keep it for later. Doesn't do anything. This is the uh, soundtrack pops. But if you fuck up the soundtrack in a Zelda game, like, I don't know what you do. That's like an unfuck upable system. It's like Hyrule Warriors 2. Literally, all you have to do is just make more of it and slap a 2 on the end, and everyone's happy. And you, you know, fucking up sure things is kind of Nintendo's specialty. What's this way before I go any further? This is a very complicated room. There's a lot going on in here. It's a very complicated room. There is just so much going on. Hey, see you later, New Azalea Flame. Enjoy your work. I too have to go to work. Fortunately, my work is this shit. St again, not helpful to me. Not really surprised to learn there's fairies in this room. This room is huge. Oh, that's a mirror. Oh, I see. I didn't realize what that was. That's a fucking mirror. Huh? Oh. What? What do I not understand? Am I charging this? It's not a mirror. It's a solar battery thing. Okay. Solar powered flashlight. Possibly the world's most useless flashlight. be a subreddit somewhere for the shittiest ideas ever, right? And like, solar-powered flashlight needs to go on there. Solar po- oh shit, hold on, I'm down to like 200 points of absorption. Solar-powered flashlight needs to, like, be recorded in the annals of history as one of the most useless ideas anybody has ever had. That's pretty much what that is. Hi. Now we're back in the main room. Okay, so this is just a big loop. Okay. So I guess... I will go through the lock. Found the loop. I'm doing it. We're looping. It is me. I am here now. This room is, I would say, immediately concerning. It looks like the shit you've gone on punched in the ice temple. It probably is. This... No one's ever accused this game of being, like, having a plethora of original ideas. So it probably is exactly that same thing. Get the Goron mask. I had a wind-up flashlight at one point. Yeah, but a wind-up flashlight is the opposite of a solar-powered flashlight. A wind-up flashlight is incredibly useful because it is a flashlight with unlimited energy that you can make function at absolutely any time in any situation by just winding it. Not to worry about it being out of batteries or whatever. Ah. Ah, it's the Morning's End Temple. Okay. Holy shit, this game is ass. Guys, it's Morning Zen Part 2 again. Morning Zen Part 3, if you will. That's kind of what I thought it was going to be. I would have been a little surprised if there was anything else. That's our second fairy. Holy fuck, fairies near going to be rough. Little 
dark dinglets don't die to light. So to reach that far, so I'll charge my solar powered flashlight. Even as it light puzzles. I don't know, put all these magical sun beacon blocks in here. But they're a strange human. And I appreciate their work here. the theme though. The, the musical theme is, is pretty S tier. Oh shit. It's a Geo dude. He can't self-destruct! That was less work than unlocking the actual path, but okay. Motherfucker. A poke. A poke. I learned nothing. Also, I'm still on my eye frame from the last guy. Suck my balls. Grim is a purge of fairies. Good work, team. Stop selling because they didn't like the whole looking like they were jerking and they just want light. Ah, yes. Is there anything more uniquely human than uh, stopping the circulation of an incredibly useful and possibly life-saving survival tool because it look funny and I feel weird when do it. Like free boost. That's exactly what they're doing. I saw that huge platform for a reason, not Minutes later, reset. That's gonna be a fun room. The flying Deku form is very well known for being easy to control and well designed. I like bowling pins. Oh, this wasn't worth it at all because that kind of killed a run. Right, well, let's try this then. First of all, fairies, yes. Platform. Oh. Is that a oh my god, look at this rat. Look how comfy this fucking marshmallow looks. He doesn't look quite as comfy from that angle. Oh, he munching. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he's so fucking comfy. Oh, no, no, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. <laughs> wow, he, I can't believe that was not the, the comfort he'd been seeking. That looked like it was the ultimate comfy stance. And usually when Marshmallow gets laid down like that and he has his head just kind of sat on the edge of the hammock, he doesn't move for four hours. I'm a Goron, I can walk in lava, surely. Okay. Yeah, well, I raise you. Fire arrow. Red vibe vibrating. Dude, he was boggling. There's some boggle action going on there. I'm really surprised he turned around. It's gonna work someday. Not today, but it's gonna work someday. He was so comfy, he was fucking about to start boggling his eyes out of his head. And he's like, no. This no longer pleases me. He got up and went and did something else. Fucking red. That's advanced fire. It's significantly hotter than lava. Fire, I mean, that's just like the totem pole, right? Fire is hotter than lava. That's why if you, like, light a torch, you can use it to melt all of the rocks around you. It's a survival strategy for being, you know, buried alive in an avalanche. Just strike a match and use the fire to melt the rocks. Fire is hotter than lava. Please. I fucking hate this thing. This is the worst. This thing controls so horrendously. 
It's not even tank controls. It's somehow worse than tank controls. I fucking hate this little Deku idiot. They are by far my least favorite grandchild. Oh, the bomb guy respawned for some reason. But he just decided not to be in my way this time. Do it backwards for style points. Okay. Oh. I found me. It's fine, I'm gonna look at the middle anyway. There's gotta be a way. I feel like into this middle part? Is there a door somewhere? Like, is there a part that's open? Oh, it's just a corner. Ah! Yes! No. No, it's a different piece. Oh, okay. So in that case, there must be a way access this switch. Ah. So come back later. All right, fair enough. I mean, we're like, we're clearly gonna get the light arrows at this temple. And I guess any real effort to attempt to explore prior to unlocking the light arrows is just signing up to waste my own time. Need light arrows for fucking everything. There's also a chest in the middle of the room. Wow. It looks like it's on the platform of the loot piece. Is it just lends to truth and I'm an idiot? Oh, it's lit. Oh my god, I didn't even fucking see it. Holy shit! That is a camouflaged chest. Can I just spin into this and get the thing? Oh, I can. Okay, that's knowledge, actually. That's powerful knowledge, because that makes this suck, like, way less. I thought I had to have the flowers out already. These just give you the flowers. This is way easier to do this way. Oh, man. I wanted to be on the little arched uppy part. I wasn't sure if that was going to help at all, but I thought it'd be cool. So now I'll do it again, because I'm stupid. All right, good news. We've respawned the red, which means this attempt is a guaranteed failure. Ratted. He's not in an insta-lose spot. With that second chest later. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello? The other guys they didn't suck. Damn, I'm a charge either. Uh, the game boy wants me to do a thing specifically. Can't hold the shield up when my hook shots out. Got to figure out what the specific thing they want is. Okay, he auto retaliates by turning into Dancer's Boreal Valley. Oh, he can, you know, swing. Okay. Just hit him for no reason. Dancer the Boreal Valley auto counterattack. Okay. What a 
weird fight. You shoot that which releases the sacred golden light onto the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple. Shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Wait. Okay, bye. <laughs> all the other guys. Yeah, surprising. Uh, all the other guys. To die and leave no corpse. That is the way of Agaro. Smoke bomb. And that guy, that guy's like, I will leave and I will leave no corpse. And pulls out a grenade. Wait! That's not no carbs. That's just awful. Okay, so let's go the way we came, actually. I would like to go the way we came, which is this way. Never mind, we can't do that. That way is blocked, because it's shut up. Because it wants to make you go all the way around. Oh, we have to do the light arrow tutorial, okay. I can't see shit. Oh, it's a Helmetar, okay. I don't have a hammer. It's called a hip loop for some reason. You want me to steal it with a hook shot? Gimme. Gimme. Corpse, no. Giblets, yes. What's down here? Oh, shattered ankles. Okay. Bunch of generally useless crap. Also, a secret wall fairy. Nice to meet you. Where do I? Oh. <laughs> Motherfuckers. It's also interesting. He said such as he said a different thing than everybody else. They all said such as the way of the Garo. He said such as the law of the Garo, implying that they have to kill the things. Like fifteen bucks on the other side. Twenty bucks. Well, I don't want to climb back up here again, but $20 is $20. How do I get into this? How do I have the internals? See that later. Might be an upsy downy thing. Shout out to the game for not letting me uh, go back out the door to the mini boss, making me go all the way back around if I want to get that buried. Fire lurk from earlier. I don't know, I was kind of expecting it to have more to the fighting thing than press the light arrow button several times. But you know, it worked, so we take those. Hey, we're a third of the way there, boys. Where does this go? I am on fucking rails. Okay. That was terrible. Why are there three chests underneath me? What does this do? Why is it upside down? Oh, 
Ah. That's fair enough. Okay. Keep that one. I didn't really need it anyway. Where are the other two? They're this exact same heap here. Which at least one of them is a fairy. Almost certainly. Okay, we're gonna go back around the loop. Now that I have light arrows, because there's quite a few things I would like to acquire. Magic is one of them. Magic's important. Arrows is another. Big magic bar and big quiver. Definitely uh, MVPs in this here dungeon. This would be a pain in the ass out of those. I don't think there's anything I can... Leave that just made upside down chest. No, that helps. That means I'll get to press the light arrow button once it's available. Is is not at least a solid solid option. This is where I wanted to be. This is how I came in here. How did I come into this room originally? It was an underwater passage. I need Zora time. Way down here. Not that far. There's a, there's a hole. Idiot. How the fuck did I come in here? Look, I know I swam in this room. I just don't know how or where I did that. They're all doors. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, there it is. It's all the way up here. Ah! Chest still there? Cool. Would like to have it, please. Fuck you, block who was in direct sunlight for most of the day. Have a light arrow now, so you can go away. Got him. Hold this, please. Get over here, not exploding. Thank you. Stay fairy. Banger. What happens to all the water when I flip this shit over? Is it just going to the sky? Is that how rain works? Is that where, where rain comes from? Shit. I don't think I want to come back down yet. I just don't think there's anything I can do down here yet. The compass is going to be some secrets. The chest is like here. I'm not smart. Never to let the truth. Not one time ever is it to let the truth. I can see anything I hear this light. The fuck? Are we a hundred percent sure that this chest is real? Well, I can't even begin to parse what I'm looking at. I'm gonna follow this one under too dark, can't see shit. I have no idea what I'm, what's going on here. Water flows to Australia to go in the air and then come back as rain. Oh, this is a one-way package. Okay. I'm glad to hear. That's the only way that I can go. Okay. So I just need to proceed. Back this way. Look, 
my navigational in this temple it's not great okay i'm just gonna I'll, you guys can all have that one it sucks no what it is this room i do want to go this way this one's a fucking bitch to get around i need to go back in here Back in here. And I need to go out to the Flying Deku room. So I can use Light Arrow in there. To leave a Goron statue on the button. Something and something. John fucking Med. We're in the right neighborhood now. We're headed the correct direction. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need a Goron, actually. Because I have to put a Goron stick. That looked like a big fucking button. Whee! Please help. I have no idea what's happening. Am I going the right direction? Yes. Okay, we got there. Easy. That's not a light arrow. Okay, now a little bit lower. Okay, that did not remove the fire. So that's not how you would do that. Fire is removed different. Possible? It's I just feel unlikely. Just like taking mask off, put it back on. This idiot out of here. Would like to climb on top of the temple, please. I would like to go out of bounds now. This is actually a two-dimensional <laughs> just linear barrier. Not so much a wall. I suppose a wall is a different thing from what this is. Well, getting up here was a problem. How did uh, how? In what in what way? So it's gonna be a stupid button. It doesn't do anything. Am I to pound it? Am I dumb? Did I just forget how these work? Ah, I am an idiot. I thought there was gonna be a second button to that. It was gonna be like a paired set. Cause usually those are like, there's two of them. Ah, you have three seconds. This is gonna be a fun section. Filled with joy. Good, you can have a little fire as a treat. Right up funny, right up fun. Gotta roll through camera hell. 
It wouldn't be Majora's Mask if you enjoyed it. I wonder if I can use my statue to hold this down, but I really doubt it since I have to fucking face palm it. It wouldn't be Majora's Mask if it was well designed. What about a Goron racetrack? For straight up no reason. Oh, no, that's it. GG. Also, we locked a fairy behind it. I don't know if this needs to be held down, but I'm fucking playing games here. What if Goron Racetrack were worse? Well, hey, you slow your fucking roll there. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. Worse than Goron Racetrack? Yeah, probably. Very please. If I can spin to win my way out of this fucking room here. Rats not in the fuck you idiot positioning, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Also, he found and killed himself somehow. Not really confident how that would happen. I wasn't where that was an option. Yeah, I've never seen the fairy not get auto picked up when you open the chest. I, I didn't know that was an option either. I thought when you touch the chest, you just got the fairy. But apparently, the fairy can actually just run off. Cackling like a mad woman. Which, to be fair, is pretty fitting for fey bullshit. That's, that's fey bullshit. But normally, the fairies in Zelda don't follow the fey bullshit train of thought. They're generally just very nice and helpful people. But you know, sometimes fey bullshit. How many fairies in this dungeon? There's been 15 in every dungeon except this one, so... I'm gonna guess 15. That fairy was Feo Ol in disguise. <laughs> now that's the fairy that Feo Ol would get pissed at. Are you serious? They're not even in the same order on this side. Are you actually... Are you an actually? Phil was the only helpful fairy in that game zone. If she was not around, nothing productive would have happened. The, that second sentence, but the entire expansion. <laughs> They mislabeled it. It's not Shadowbringers. It's Fail Oldbringers. Hey, I have a problem. Better call your mom and she'll fix it for you. No, oh, I went to Australia. It changes the music a little bit. That's actually sick. Beam! <laughs> this is how Mono had to play the whole game. <laughs> Shit. I love you guys. Anything cool in this hole? Twenty bucks. Twenty arrows. Ah, 
Space. Hey, well, let's uh go do some stuff in the temple, but it's upside down now. This is a really cool concept for a dungeon. Like, I definitely can't take that away from this. This is a sick concept for a dungeon. Now the same thing, but inverted. There. I don't need light arrows for this. Terrifyingly narrow sex of the bridge for no reason. Uh, well, good thing I have all of the magic in the universe. It's the best dungeon Majora's Mask. At least a contender for it. Well, okay, look, I'm not trying to be contrarian here, but what competition does it have? <laughs> There's Adolwa's House of Tutorials. There's the pillar that's very cold. And there's Mecha Water Temple. <laughs> Dungeons have not been a particularly high point of Majora's Mask so far. Which you may ask, but it's okay, Squidish, but what, then what was the high points? Come back to me on that one. Wolf. We'll circle back around. We'll answer that question later. Oh, this chick. Oh, the holes in the ceiling are air vents now. Well, that's kind of neat. It's also a huge room. We know that because we've seen it right side up at E. And also, there's four of them. Good three hour bang session. What was the best part of this game so far? Banging cream pie for three hours. Final answer. I suck the gun. Fuck someone. As far as I can tell, no reason. Okay. Point of school suffering. I love how two different people said banging the farm chick. That's the highest point of this game. Chad, just let me keep you around. Two different people. What was the high point? Banging the farm girl. I don't remember what that did. I know we already aggravated it. Enough. It's already closed. Sitter looking. I am not a Deku. Ah, we just used the middle one. The middle one just doesn't go that high. Okay. Kick those little feeties. There we go. Fairy, please. Probably like 11 more fairies in this room. This is the most convoluted chamber in, in ever. What? Go down. It was deep. Jesus. Where did we get fire? It wasn't surrounded by. Is this a hold? Okay, so they actually are color coded. The silver switches are holds. That's actually, that's nice. I'll give him that one. Because I'm not giving him a lot, but I'll give him that one. <laughs> Color-coded switches, we take those. Link needs to sentence to be the future heroes and cream pie stepping up. What the fuck is her name? I just, I don't know what her, is it literally just creamy? Creamy, uh. 
that better? Not sure. plan. I call it explosions. Now Kimmy was the younger one. Now the younger one is... Fair enough. The one is named after the farm. All three of these are actually a different height. It's just Romania, I think. Like the country. But it's a small child. That worked out. Romani. That was close. I had literally all of the right letters. There's another fucking chest in here. Holy shit. Owie. Bonitis. Ray Romani. Is he a cheese? I hate this fucking dungeon. <laughs> Who the fuck said this is the best dungeon? Homest! Oh my god, there's another one. You get to go upside and downside, then upside and downside. <laughs> the hell is this? Okay. I was like, what goes in gilded chests? That's not the item, the map, or the compass. Keys. I wasn't aware there was a locked door, but when I find it, now I have a key. That's a rupee. That was a lock-on arrow. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Great shot, Link. We'll get him next time. Did it? Hold on. Great deal accepted. You receive twenty-six dollars. I receive one quarter of a heart. I get anywhere. Can you shut up? I'm trying to think. Shut up your ass. Ow. Win this round. You win. Possibly this one too. You do not. Fuck you. Okay, shut the hell up. I'm trying to think. Not how you get in this room. Water is gone. I don't know how you get in this room, but I'm Welcome. fairly confident it's not like that. Add a mock. 57 Legend of Bait months. is my favorite. Amused, so glad you are still finishing this. You're the shiniest squidling. I shit him down to 100 points of absorption. Hold on, let me chug some absorption potions real quick. Go ahead and just guzzle a couple of these fuckers. How much is a dose of absorption? Trying to figure out if I'm gonna be bleeding Nightmare Zone points doing these normal rumbles. They're like 1500, right? Isn't like 1500 per dose? Or is it a thousand? Between that and the overload, one of them's 1500, one of them's a thousand. Taking 24 inventory slots of four of them. That's 96. Taking 96 doses. I currently have 139,000 points for this run because it's literally just garbage on normal. It should be fine. It should be fine. So just a thousand. Okay, so we're even like going up. Slowly. What was the 
button. So then, what else do I do? I'm cool. What are the other options? Sick F jump. Thanks. I know. I'm pretty good at stuff. Another way I can go from out here. Is it I who was dumb? That's the other path. What the fuck is that? A mecha armos? Literal flashing weak point? I don't know where the fuck to go. I have a key, but that solves the problem I'm not having. I don't need a key. Need a locked door. There's a thousand of using 96 doses of absorption, and I already have like 140k. I, I'm going even though that's all I care about. I'm not losing it. I'm not gonna have to farm Nightmare Zone to farm Nightmare Zone. What in the Fukuda? That's like a self contained unit. Gotta be something I can do up top. In that weird little room. Holy cow, that one goes. Oh! The secret was just that that one goes literally to the ceiling. Owie. And then there's a door up here. Okay, fair enough. Mystery solved. I found the thing. That's not okay. That's super not okay. <laughs> Mid-Temple Flippies. <laughs> then only flip the room. Okay. The Mid-Temple Flippies only flip the room that you're in. That's not better. That's significantly better. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Much better. What are you talking about? Neat. Goron hears you, Goron don't care. I don't like the implications about how many times I'm going to be flipping this room over. Usually when they give you... When they give you an arrow guy and a magic guy, you're gonna be here for a fucking minute. Is it even legally considered a puzzle? What's the goal? What's the objective? There. Step ones, we gotta get it across the middle. I think we're gonna be back to Mornings in Part 2 again so soon, but here we are. Mornings in Part 2 again. No, I don't think it's that bad. It actually is a puzzle. I thought it was going to be extremely A to B. Look at the fucking... Did you see the magic item? It's actually not. Hey. 
This is actually a pretty neat one. I'm having a hard time telling exactly how the line. Yeah, we're cool. Did I get a collateral? You well suck dick professionally, which is good for me. I just completely ignore him and keep pushing my box. Or slightly later, might as well get it flipped. Mornings <laughs> in part two. For the makers of morning in part two, it's mornings in part three. The ghost that morning's in part three, semicolon. The ghosts have a purpose this time, we promise. That should more or less be it. Yeah. Now we got it on the high ground, and we can just push it over. That one is actually gonna need it. It is a puzzle. Like, there is a... Path where you could take a probably impressively long amount of time to get nowhere. Okay, now you're milking it. Tall boy? Thank you, tall boy. Appreciate you. Very free. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? How many times? Not too early. We have to wait for him to start going Uncle Bunga. Come on. You didn't even get, like, you just went in a line. Ogata boogada, ogata boogada, ogata boogada, ogata boogada. Yeah, okay. This is the same old man, or does he have brothers? Good question. I'd like to think it's literally just the same dude. And we're just abusing the shit out of him. I cannot shoot the fireball, it makes too much spaghetti. Ah, oh, the spaghetti makes other smaller spaghetti. This is cool when you fuck up once, you're in a fucking failure loop forever because you spend the first five minutes of the next cycle doing a pain animation. They really ran out of mini boss ideas, huh? It's really interesting because this. Like, the dungeons thing was funny because they're all terrible, but. Mini bosses. This game had some solid ones. And some solid mini bosses. It had some really good throwbacks, like Link to the Past, with the giant pile of eyeballs. But it's also got that guy, I think, literally four times at this point. We're actually doing pretty good on the fairy, so that's 11. Ah, spooky is good, yes. Why? Why? Oh, he's a sad ghost. Oh no, it's the opposite of the happy party ghost. It's the sad shame ghost. No fairies in here, so we can just fucking move it. I don't know what the thing is, I don't like it. 
It's a sad ghost. It's depression because he's small. He knows he doesn't matter. He's committed suicide by hero of time. Oh, there's more power lamps. Choose to ignore you. There are a lot of these fuckers. Oh, that's Mecha Armos. Fuck. Not hit it in the square? I don't know. Is it hit in the square with a light arrow? Got like a literal glowing weak spot. This is full of completely invincible mecha armos. Wow, there are a lot of them. What? Holy shit. Okay. Now what you got? Death Armos. Red Mark has chest. Yeah, how does that help? It doesn't help. It literally does not help at all. Upside down, maybe, and they just kill himself. I literally do not know what to do here. Seems to be outright and vulnerable. Oh, it is. Oh my god, that doesn't even kill him. Okay, it does kill him. It is that. The other dude just literally refused to pound him. Found it. Well, I think we can uh, like confidently say we found the most fucking annoying enemies in the game. Zero contention for that title. You guys gonna drop arrows ever, or is it just gonna be magic? I'd really like you to drop some arrows. And I use those. Oh. I guess it was just the button. Well, we're out of arrows now. I forgot the song. Stand by, I forgot the song. Don't worry, we're back. I put it together, we're good. Extra big club quiver is probably the best thing that I've picked up in the entire game. The extra fucking giga quiver is life saving. A key. I have another key. This was mandatory. We knew that because we knew there wasn't a fairy. I guess we didn't know that, but we could strongly assume this was possibly a key. It's also a yellow chest, we would have looked at it. Hello, it's... 
Bonk Bonk Sproom? tell you this is not gonna get us across the room but where it will get us perhaps is to my death easy just don't touch the spike easy oh, bitch can't help but notice uh this is not the chest and uh as a follow-up to that little area appears to be almost completely and totally pointless. False. Let's make it around this way. It was a waypoint. Ah, it's the bullshit hallway. I see. That's what we in the business call a damage boost. Secretly a speedrunner the whole time. Ah, help. The thing that I need way less than arrows. Ah, money. The thing that I need way less than every other possible. Ah, arrows. The thing that I need a lot. Thank you. Fuck. I feel like I should have went through the other side door. I kind of thought this was like an additional path. This is Ganon from Link to the Past. It's a Pikmin. It's a Pikmin with a scythe. Who gave a Pikmin a scythe? I'm gonna shoot you. Ah. Ooh, he's spinning. Tell the boss stops being alive. That's, this is probably like a strategy of some kind or some degree of tactics you can use alternatively. You can just press the light arrow button until the boss stops living. Easy. Boss key, please, thank you. Strategy? What's that? Well, it's where you press the light arrow button every time it's off cooldown. Oh, boy. Clank isn't proficient in sights, he's barely proficient in swords. I do most of my best work through wild flailing. Okay, well, I guess it's good we came this way. It wasn't back to side paths, it was a side path to the boss key. I feel like it's worth mentioning, at least briefly, that throughout pretty much all of Majora's Mask. We have been extremely lucky in the way that we explore dungeons. I feel like pretty much every dungeon where we've had choices on the directions to go, we've gone the direction that is the most useful and cuts down on uh, backtracking the most pretty much every single time. The phase in this room are outside. Holy fuck, he's respawned in about three seconds. I see the double check. Just gotta do my due diligence. Yeah, there's not one in here. Okay. Got more stuff. I like this huge boss fountain. So I can make sure I have infinity everything before I move on. You'd love to see it. I 
Which means that just like damage boosting through these bombs is actually intended question mark. I'm just so good at video games. How does he do it the absolute unstoppable Chad? Chad's worth the legend. That's why they call me Squidish the God of Video Games Jackson right there. You just shoot it probably, but why would I do that when I could do this instead, which is way funnier and works 100% of the time. Oh, yeah, I shot them with my <laughs> dinky scrub. It's called speed running, honey. Look it up. How does that help me? I feel like we've come full circle. So he really kicked his own ass there. To flip it back over? I have, it's worth noting I have not seen a boss door. Fuck. I literally had it and I just punched the stick for no reason. I've been wanting to do that. I've wanted a reason to do that for a while. Can we flip back over this way? Have we done anything of value to the right sidey uppy version of the temple? Fine, sorry. Got me there. You win this round. Video game. It's actually pretty much impossible to put the arrow away if you're holding it because you'll instantly pull it back out. Let's probably have those chests probably spawn to also be hookshot points. Cadis. 91 months in the pool. The tier two. The double. The two perception production. Look at the shiniest squidling. I cut down an entrance time? I don't think we are. I think this is going to be worse than our previous entrance splits. Like hella consistent. Look at that shit. One second longer. Squidish the god of consistency, Jackson. Another minute and 20 seconds of my life in the fucking toilet that I'll never get back. these chests do seem to exist as much to be a hookshot point as to actually have loot. But loot is generally a straight berry, so, you know, loot good. Only down by three. Oh, that's what you do. I see. I see. I didn't realize there's a door under there. That's where we're supposed to go. You use that to get up on top of the weird little tongue. 
Then you go for it. Go in here. We know there's one in here, too. There's an underwater one now. One that I feel like it's accessible by now. Howie. Probably in here. The question then is how? By the grace of God, it didn't take me 75 tries to get out of water when I was doing the temple. Is this the room that's last fairy? Is that chest the last fairy? No. I don't know what that chest is, but it's not a fairy. I don't care. All right. Map! Room north of here. That one. No way to get there from here easily. It's the end of the main path. I don't know, this floor actually really, uh, this dungeon only really has two floors really. There's not a whole lot of... How is there a door that doesn't connect to anything in this room? Oh, because it's uppy downy. That's what it is, right? Okay. We need to locate the final fairy. Probably totally doable. I'm not good at stuff. This is a one way. I can't go this way. Let's go back the wetness chain now. Let's go back to the wetness chamber. Final fairy 14. 14 is what I have. I need the final fairy 15. It's not in this room, so whatever missing chest we have in here, it doesn't matter. Fairy mask says that's not it. Ow. I'm pretty sure that there was just one more chest that I spawned while we were doing Upside Down Temple. I think there was one more we'd spawned. Just don't know where. I don't remember everything that happened. It was a lot of spawning incorrectly oriented chests. Gotta do shit, I guess we're on the outside now. 14 has the same car and one member of the boy band. I lost. I have. I used to be hip. I used to be with it. But they changed what it was. And what it is now is weird and scary to me. It happened to me. It'll happen to you. I knew it was happening in chat just three minutes ago. Now I have literally no idea what's going on. It is the chest in here. Which is an unsolved mystery. The chest in here is an unsolved mystery.
I don't think we've been... We haven't been to this room upside down at all. Let's with the log. Three tries to get the fan pack. Okay, so... We have to figure out how to get into here upside down. That's the final fairy. Ow. Right, I can't leave this way. I have to go forward. There is only forward. You ever look away from chat for five seconds and it becomes a Final Fantasy 15 appreciation for him? I guess. I guess that's what happened to me, so yeah. I don't know why there's a chest in all this room that we haven't discovered yet, but again, I don't really care. I'm gonna go flip my tower again. Understandable. Have a nice day. We'll get bored. Let him tire himself out. We'll run out of gas eventually. I'm not worried about it. That's just how dragonflies are these days. See, you got tired. Gotta wait him out. It's just a game of patience. Easy. Literally do not care about that switch at all. Got tired of being impelled by an arrow. Yeah, he ran out of gas. That happens. Well, I have 50 octogen telling Discord messages, and why do none of them matter? Because they are all. You're all in the Age of Ashes group chat. Which has relevant posts about once a century and it's just shit posting for 99% of the rest of the time. My Indian food rhymes quit stream and Zelda and I'm on leave tomorrow. Life is good. Dude, I want some fucking mac and cheese. I want some motherfucking mac and cheese. I feel like I haven't had mac and cheese in years. What's the public? Hello, Marshmallow. Hi, buddy. You know, I think I figured out why he gets up and comes stampeding out to the edge of the cage. I think I know why he does it. It's not because he wants attention or anything. It's because he's expecting a wall here. He's a little confused that there's not a wall here. And he uses that to orient himself. I was going to say to find the water bottle, but he doesn't appear to be going for the water bottle. I thought he was just gonna like bum rush forward to the front of the cage and then turn and then go to the side until he ran to the edge and then get the water bottle. I know he's looking for the bathroom. That's a different thing. Cause he's pretty much totally blind. That one is. Where are we? Oh, literally just go forward. Okay, fair enough, I can do that. I can do go forward. If you served your purpose, fairy mask. I need to hit that. Thank you. Now we're on the tongue even. Now we can go through this door. And this room we need to be in. Ah! 
Ah, block the giant fuck off laser, unfortunately. But he only shoots it exactly straight forward. This guy's a uh, five light arrow attack. Tax has been paid. Not a fairy, fuck. That was the next room. It's the next room? It's the next room. What the hell else is there to get? Right. Well, here's the plan. <laughs> Who the fuck said this was the best dungeon in Majora's Mask? Who? Listen, we were ten. Don't mind me, I'm just doing it again. Fucking eleventh time. that we have two masks out at once. Another minute and a half of my life, I'll never get back. Dungeon entrance tax. Hey, you wanna enter the dungeon? Damn it, I thought I was a genius. I thought that I could Maybe slap a mask on exactly as I stepped on the button. And skip one of the two cutscenes. We on fucking... This is world record pace right here. We're crushing it. We're crushing this shit. We're almost in there. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fucking destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. The previous record at the complete waste of one and a half minutes of your life every time you want to go into temple packs. One minute and 17 seconds of my life I'll never get back. We're just following the default route. Power of roly poly, man. I bounced so high off of that. Yeah, me. Technically, you never get back any minutes of your life. Yeah, but I'm happy with how I spent most of them. You know, sleeping, eating macaroni and cheese, playing video games that aren't this one. I'm happy with most of them. But, you know, some of them were spent on things like... Playing this, or playing Darkest Dungeon 2, or like, which I fucking paid money for. 
which are just moments of my life I'll never recover, but I desperately wish that I could. Fuck, I forgot where the hookshot lives. My brain turned off. Well, now the temple's right side up, we... this game has. In case anyone was curious, uh, you can hookshot a dragonfly into punching you in the face if you really just... I ready in action to aid the enemy when he attempts to attack me. I don't want him to feel bad about himself. I want to help kind of build up his confidence, and I think maybe we can get him to turn over a new leaf in life. That starts with giving him a chance. I've already right set up, so this will go turn it. Right, well, theoretically, okay, let me drink my last three absorption potions. See, the Nightmare Zone, I'll give you guys, Nightmare Zone's fucking AFK. Nightmare Zone is hella fucking AFK. I've been here for three hours while I've been streaming. It's going great. Me come through. Don't. Butthole. <laughs> Freeze that frame right up a Goron's ass. Don't worry, it's me. I did it. I found all the yellow fairies. I'm a winner. All right, so we have extra magic, extra health. Can't remember the third thing. You are the horrifying blonde fairy. The great fairy of kindness. I don't remember that piece of the Triforce. <laughs> the great fairy, a great fairy of putting your carts back in the corral when you're done shopping. Okay, the fairy's sword. It's a s on a C button. I'm the great fairy of kindness. Thank you for saving me! Here's a gun! <laughs> okay. Use it on people who aren't kind to you. Strong dead by daylight energy. I don't need a block, I have a giant fucking sword. The fucking boat pedal. What the hell? It's so big! Why is it so big? Alright. I have a boat pedal. I'm gonna go beat somebody with my ore. I have a great test for this. I know exactly where we can go to sample the murder stick. That's what Green Pie said. No! She did it! Because Link is like 12! Stop! The shield is just a regained stamina. The shield captures the emotion of all of the enemies that I run at with this sword. Wee. Hi, Marshmallow. We 
you looking for, buddy? I went out the wrong door. And, you know, he's just kind of blinding his way through the world. Not entirely confident where he is at any given time. Way packed in his blade here. If you hit him with a boat paddle, they're gonna, you know, at least casually rethink a lot of their decisions they've made throughout their life. They're gonna regret dropping out of college in their sophomore year, not finishing that degree, and deciding to become a fire breathing dragon that explodes. It's a quick death, that's the kindness. Sword of kindness. I want you guys to know. I've been AFK in Nightmare Zone this entire stream. We're about four hours in. And I have not gained a level yet. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page about how fucking ridiculously slow whole ass AFKing is. I don't know why I'm depositing money with you. I don't know why I'm giving you this. It's almost got 4k. The amount of XP you get's pretty big. I mean, that's not wrong. Obviously, that's the main thing, but I mean, like, I'm only getting. What are we doing, Red Light? I'm only getting, like, 55k strength XP an hour. Because, like, big AFK in the Nightmare Zone? In order to not run out of absorption potions, I'm, uh, I'm a, like a rumble normal so that all the enemies do no fucking damage. I actually just need the middle out. I just need to be able to shoot the thing, right? I'm just trying to flip it right over. Anyway. Uh, I'm on Rumble Normal, so that my absorptions will last a few hours. So, a lot of the enemies that come in only have, like, 30 health. So a lot of my damage is, uh, a very large amount of my damage is wasted in overkill. Because they're all so squishy. Did they, you're not, you are not gonna tell me. And with everything that is this fucking dungeon and this setup, they went out of their way. I'm out of fucking magic. They went out of their way to prevent you from shooting the crystal, but that's okay. So, like, the income is real low, actually. The income on XP, because I have so much wasted overkill damage on Count Dracula. But if I put it on Rumble Hard, they eat through my absorptions pretty fast. Like, if I put it on Rumble Hard, even with Count Draenor and the, and the lads, I think I am going to get knocked out and have to go get another inventory of absorption patches, like, every 30 or 40 minutes. I guess I could put a shield on instead of a dragon defender, but I don't know if that's better. I don't know if having a shield versus the hard guys... is better. And having a D defender versus the smaller guys. I don't know. Could do science. 
I'm out of absorptions, so I'm gonna have to reset it here in a sec anyway. Well, not a sec, here in a couple minutes. Maybe for the last stretch of the, the stream, I'll just put him on dick kicker mode. Then see how long it lasts and see what the XP per hour is like. Oh, we know there's a target. We already know there's a target. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's the chest. Oh. That chest also... Oh, shit. Oh, no. It doesn't roll the way here. Interesting. That chest also just exists to be a hookshot target. It's like a half. Like, half the chests in this dungeon are only here to be hookshot targets. Oh, shit. Uh, can I get a boss fountain, please? I would like some magique. Is that a boss fountain over there? No, the opposite. Okay, yes. There we go. Full magique. Full boombas. Full health. Light arrows. They give me this thing. I have a giant fucking paddle. Can't even put this on. Okay. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna pause it. It is most definitely time for me to take my last break of the afternoon. Welcome in, Robotrobby. Here's some rants. We got a boss door. And I will go through the boss door and do some uh, some slapping here when I return in a couple of minutes. But I'm going to return in a couple of minutes. I got to eat the rest of the season cheese. <laughs> I got to stand up, stretch my legs. Encourage you guys to do the same, especially if you've been here for... More than 30 minutes or an hour or so. Get up, walk around a bit. Pee him if you got him. Be back in a couple of minutes. I think I have like vague psychic impressions of this boss. Whoa, look at that big rat ass. Oh no, he's transmogrifying.
That rat is so comfy. Oh my god, he's so comfy. Even though Marshmallow's behind him going fucking nuts on grooming and just being a general nuisance. Welcome back, everybody. Big fucking door! Big fucking sword! I'm curious to see if this is in any way functional against the boss. Let me think. I think there's been a grand total of one boss that you- Well, no, you could hit Biggest Pegasus with a sword. You just had to knock him over first. I don't think you could hit- I don't think you could hit Fisher's Georg with a sword at all. You hit a doll with a sword. I did, almost exclusively. Ah. Of course. Jump into the giant hole. And now I'm here. In a place. Awakening slumbering memories in my brain hole of the worst fight ever. I'm gonna start shooting ass. Oh, he can go through the what's the point of the rocky part? Alright, fuck you guys. encounter. Okay. Uh, beginning of the dungeon for no reason. Let's do it again. What a cool fight. What an interesting and well-designed boss. Let's do it again from the top. I'm enjoying this. Second round, but again. I'm starting to remember why I never beat this game. Is it because it's fucking awful? I don't really think the easiest, uh, the easiest solution to why you never beat this game is because it blows ass. Majora's Mask is terrible. <laughs> Do it again. Also a humongous fan of the fact that I can't use my cool bows to do sword of big for me. 
And we're gonna give him a giant new sword um, as a reward for all the fairies in this dungeon. So should we make the boss when you give him a sword? Oh yeah, actually pretty much exclusively. Make sure you can beat the boss with a sword. Not that sword though. Don't let him use their new tool. Are you insane? They should just be happy about collecting it. There's one less hole in the item menu now. The sword's not for using. Are you crazy? Clapping cheeks. Cheeks clapped. I think your death animation could be 30 seconds shorter. Now he's an obelisk. Be fast. Also, make definitely not able to lock on. It's very important, I think, for sword fights in our uh, in our system that in order to build interest and like, make it difficult, they should not be able to lock on. So isn't our system kind of like wholly built around lock on thing? Isn't that like the thing? Don't want to promote that at all? No, 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 no. This is supposed to be an epic boss battle. They can't just lock on to it. That'd make it playable. Giant's mask, it was introduced for no reason. I'll never forget you until about at least like a minute 15 from now when I commit to never thinking about you again. Huzzah! Touch. Twin Mold's remains. I freed the big Ooga Booga. Alright, let's go look at another giant naked Nigel Thornberry and kind of judge the concept of his existence. S4. If you're wondering why people like this game, but remember, people like Dark Souls too. <laughs> Look, this game is way better. The no, it's not actually. I guess that backwards. No, uh, no, I was gonna. You know, every part of me wanted to say this game is way better than Dark Souls 2, but it's really not. I think the other way around, if anything, Dark Souls 2 is way better than this game. Like Dark Souls 2 blows. But it was better. It was definitely better than this. <laughs> like... I barely was... Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say because you know I, I'm not gonna know to pass up an opportunity to shut up Dark Souls too. But I think I have to. I think I have to. This is way worse than Dark Souls too. I don't want to punch the moon. At least I can play Dark Souls 2. That is true. Dark Souls 2, by and large, functioned. Forget about it. Ya bitch. Oh, we got shit to do. Three day cycle, come on! At least you're not in a menu 50% of the time in Dark Souls 2. He's got us there. No, it's an intergalactic anus. That could be attached to anything. This is Outer Wilds? changes and not shitty iconic hair. It's like anything notable. Hey, I got a strength level! 
Dollar. I got a dollar. I got a strength level. I'm 86 strength now. Hooray. It took four and a half hours. Oh, I got an HP level too, apparently. <laughs> did I just shoot a crow with a light arrow? Fuck yeah, I did. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Off. What should you say to the world? Ah, you got out here, they all laugh at you. Is there anything else we can do? With the. It is nighttime. Newly redeemed situation in here. I was just keck wing. Hi. I'm sorry. Like I was Stop not right clear. There, criminal Hi. Nougat Noah, 22 months in the pool. You were the shiniest squidling. People liked Assassin's Creed 3, Unity, and Syndicate? No. Nobody liked Assassin's Creed 3. The people that liked Assassin's Creed 3 are the people that still play World of Warcraft. They didn't like it. They just don't know anything else. Like, that's their life now. They are in so deep that they can't see the exit. They need help. And they need direct intervention. They're just... Like, attached. Those guys still just okay, so... Does this change fucking anything? Let's do shit. I wanna fight the fucking worm again. Never have I been so offended by the truth. There's, as far as I can tell, like three groups of fanboys in the gaming industry who can rival like Apple drones. And that isn't a Keck W Apple iPhone bad. But you know what I mean with Apple drone. It's not people who own an iPhone. I am stuck in this pool forever. This pool is a soft lock. It's the people. I'm sure almost everyone knows at least one. There are three groups of people that I've seen in the gaming community that can rival that. I think one of them has died and one of them is on their way out. And that was the Ubisoft fanboys who I think are pretty well and truly dead at this point. But around the time Assassin's Creed 3 came out, the Ubisoft fanboys were in the prime of their lives. That was the absolute peak of the Ubisoft extreme fanboyism community disease. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm out of magic. I'll, we'll talk later. I don't know why I'm shooting. I have to walk over there anyway. But anyway, uh, Ubisoft, the Blizzaros, who I'm pretty sure are on their way out at this point. Blizzard is doing their absolute damnedest to alienate every last member of their player base. So, perhaps soon. Is the phone in with this? Is that what they want? Perhaps soon. We'll be free from them. And then there's the Sony fanboys, who I think are literally just beyond saving. I don't think there's anything that can be done for them. I think it is just a truly unfortunate situation that they found themselves in. At this point, I think it's pretty clear that they're just beyond help. I don't even think, like, an intervention from close personal family and friends could do anything for them. Xbox and, Xbox and PlayStation are now shouting at Bobby Kotick. If there is... justice in this world... If there is, perhaps, divine order. 
Maybe. Maybe. This is, like, unironically kind of, I think, a tipping point for the gaming industry. Because if Blizzard continues to exist and just says, look, Overwatch 2, the sequel to a game that was already fucking terrible, and everyone just forgives everything and it has 200 million viewers on Twitch, the games industry is beyond salvation, and we will just continue to consume actual AAA dog shit until the end of time. There's nothing that can be done. I can go this way now. I, it's, it has nothing to do with finishing this area. But there was a sunny face over here. Light arrows now, so I can do it. It might even have been mirror shield. I might have been able to do it beforehand, but I think it was a light arrows kind of situation. I don't think there was light in here, really. Find out. Owie. Also, to put on the uh, the end of all of those other unfortunately unsavable youths, literally anyone who buys Overwatch 2 is beyond is beyond help. Like, there's nothing anyone can possibly do for you. Because that means two things. One, you still play Overwatch for some reason. And two, willingly gave Blizzard money for whatever the fuck, like, actual shit there is gonna end up being that game. There is possibly no help left in the world for those people. If you have a friend or loved one who wants to play Overwatch 2, consider getting them some help. Find, uh, like, a grief counselor or something. You still have a chance. Or you lose them completely. There may not be much time left. Consider just straight dropping them in a pit for three years. Hi. Uh, hello, spooky ghost man. Somehow you've managed to send the Icona's wandering spirits into peace. Outside of Icona, there are still swarms of wandering spirits with lingering regrets. The ones in this room want to meet you again and have been waiting here for quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. I'm sure they'll welcome you. Ah. Uh. A mini dungeon? Hold on, let me get my fucking paddle. Actually, one shot. That's a paddling. I got. Boss weapons! You can only hate Dark Souls 2 so much. They gave us the boss weapons meme, so I mean, they get at least a little bit of a pass forever. Hundred bucks. Cool, I'll put it with all the rest of my infinite quantity of wealth. There's just mini boss refights for the four dungeons? Is that what this is? I feel like that might be what this is. You have to stop. You have to find a hobby or something like that.
Dude. This guy's excited for Overwatch, too. Like... <laughs> something else man do something else with your life it doesn't matter what it is absolutely anything is better than this hundred bucks I'm sensing a recurring theme in here this might just be the cavern of hey you are in game now here is all of the money I think you might have thought that it was some of the money but you may be misunderstanding this is all of the money in the world, all of the money ever. This is the cave of money. Did he just tell me I don't have enough badges to train him? Bruh, just let me in there. I promise you it's not gonna be a problem. Just... I 100% promise you it's not going to be an issue. I am sure I'll be fine. Have you seen my fucking sword, dude? I think I can get this one sorted. They're saying that to protect themselves. I think... You can't handle our strongest demons, traveler. Come back when you find something stronger. Your heart couldn't take it. It would kill you, would it? Y yes! It would. I don't know why this turned into potion seller. But <laughs> it wasn't the original intention, but now we're kind of here. <laughs> the horrible death screens in the other room. The fucking begging for mercy and then just like come out slightly bloodied boat paddle. Who's next? I don't think you can come in this room yet. Bean. You know what I should do? actually provide us, I think, a lot of value. Have we started every cycle by just buying a bunch of beans? A little late for that. But had I done that from the beginning, then any time that I ran across a random bean hole, I could just plant a bean because I had beans. Cost me three seconds of no effort to come just get a bunch of beans. It would have been a thought to have before I was literally done the entire game, but you know, a thought nonetheless. Stick it in my bean hole. <laughs> no. Mancha, yes. By the way, I can attempt Fragment of Saren. It actually saves its condition. Okay, I assumed teleporting out and in was going to reset this. That's interesting. I can now attempt Fragment of Saren Theory 349,000 chat. Because I have 86 health. Again, I have zero faith in this working, but I ran out of ideas quite a long time ago, which is why I stopped trying. Where was the ledge that was below this one? How did I get here? How did I get here?
a bean hole somewhere. I realize now that attempting to find a bean hole in this entire region where the bean hole is exactly the same color as the ground uh, might actually be a complete exercise in futility. As I'm slowly to realize that there is no chance I will ever find that bean hole again. Just absolutely none. I guess that's not realistic. Trying to find the bean hole again is completely unrealistic. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The only chance I would have of finding the bean hole is literally going to the bottom of the tower and climbing again. The last time I did that, I found a bean hole. Maybe if I do it again, I'll find a bean hole again. Ow. A large boulder fell on my head. myself waving that blue laser beam in the background. Where the fuck is the bean hole? I feel like it was at the very top. If it was not... I thought it was actually on the top platform in front of the tower. If not that... It was in that final stretch. So the question is, how did I get here? What was the procedure I took to arrive here? Because there is a bean hole on the route. I need to step on that. Now I have to watch two cutscenes. Here. First possible spot. up there, that's not part of that. The place where these bricks are. I don't, I don't think it's realistic that I'll ever find the people again. I just don't think it's ever gonna happen. Rip that idea. Is it like this is an under level there? Is it another little under level? Where they're kind of right stacked over the top of each other? Is that where it is? I just wanted to. S I just wanted to see it. Because I figured it was something to do. Like, I can get a bean real easy, so why the fuck not? Something I want to put more than one minute of effort into. I just wanted to go put a bean in the bean hole. See what happens. Doesn't seem to be a super viable approach. Back up top. Might fuck me, I guess. Damn it. I thought it was gonna take me over there and that'd be something cool over there. Never mind. Never mind. It's unrealistic I was never gonna find that hole again in a place where the ground texture is exactly the same color as the bean hole. Alright, so instead of that. Stop right there, Chris. Was entire slip state? Definitely not. I saw it pretty shortly after I saw the. Tattle fly off and go be a weird blue fairy in the distance. Getting the hat back on Mooba. Thank you, Zerit. You and the bots must be headed here. Here 
Curiosity shop. You're not selling the cool mask because I didn't stop the robbery, right? Because you're gonna sell the bomb bag instead. Hey. Has nothing. Why do you have nothing? <laughs> I didn't even prevent your crime. How do you have nothing? You should have the bomb bag at the very least. You little fuck. Okay, well, let's see what's up. Alright, this doesn't open until the next day. Get the witness from getting in with the crime? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe you have to... If the, the return... Uh, the required condition was getting there and failing, that'd be kind of weird. Must be night before I can go up there. I want to call my Nigel Thornberries. I need all my Nigels. I guess I can give this guy two hundred dollars because I'm probably gonna go die. Can I interest you in two hundred and three more dollars? I mean, two hundred dollars. I don't care if I put in the three. Okay. That's so much fucking money. This man is loaded. He could just disappear. He's one of the most honest gentlemen in the universe. I have absolutely no proof of commitment. None whatsoever. Dance. Dance in a weird blur, my scarecrow friend. What are you doing, Theodore? I see a fat rat booty. That is an extremely fat rat booty. It's one of the fattest rat booties I've ever witnessed. Yes. Bring the moon to me. Wiggly little shit. Night of the final day. I was wondering if he was gonna offer to dance until dawn and just kill myself. Which would profoundly be an I'm done with this game. If you can match it, because I have to do the dungeon over again. Should save. Yeah. Because I, I just remembered it deletes all of your data. If it reaches the end, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know for sure. I, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. I should definitely do a save. Imagine game over and it'll be the dungeon. Yeah, probably just not play the game anymore is what would happen. And then we'll do double time as far as I can. Then I'll bother the scarecrow if I need to. I think I can double time two day three and then I just need him to make it night. I'll rip all my resources. It was nice having resources. I don't need resources, I have a boat paddle. Cutscene is somehow more jarring than the Scarecrow one. Oh, it accidentally goes to night. I've hit A three times. I'm not smart. Night and the day. Three more. Three more songs. Three more songs, guys. The Fellowship of the Tables. Thank you for the follow. Three more songs. Wrong button. Can I play like quadruple time and skip an entire day? I just want to go directly to day three. Night three, rather. I want to. Because I forgot you can't actually get on top of the clock tower. Because they told me to go on top of the clock tower and then call. All of the giant naked thornberries. So I assume it needs to be night three for that to happen. 
But I might be stupid. I frequently am. It would surprise me none whatsoever if I was just dumb and all I had to do was just play it at any point. <laughs> anyway. I haven't tried going back up top of the clock tower until I stopped being a D uh, until I lost the ability to be a Deku kid, so I don't actually know what's gonna happen when I go back up there. God damn it, every time I'm already It's because C Wright's the first note of song. Optimization, put the Ocarina on C Wright. I swear I tried to do this before and it didn't work. It wouldn't let me go to the final day or to the night of the final day, and I don't remember why if I'm stupid. Just play it again. Just play it again. What happens? Is this is gonna tell me to fuck off. You, dude, you got you gotta stop. Oh, it's it's midnight too. Oh my god, it's not even night. At least I'll have to wait six in game hours. Wow, trying to get the night of the trying to get the clock tower open is kind of a nuisance, isn't it? I'm gonna tell you a story. Grandma's gone. Use the time to set with the curio shopkeeper sells when you've set literally zero flags. Good point. See what the curio what the curiosity shop sells when I have done nothing. It's not even up until ten. Literally don't know what to do other than stand here. Okay. I I do not know of anything that I can do other than just hang out. I know. Dance. It can be a horrible dancing nightmare demon with no face. The face with no face. My shield is so comically oversized. Why is it stupidly large? Matora's mask feels like one guy designed the entire game and nobody would tell him no. Like, that, that seems like how you end up with a game like this. Power teabagging. <laughs> Absolute dominance. <laughs> I like one kind of team that left them do the work. Yeah, or something. And that's the only way you can end up with something as fucking dumb as this mirror shield. I'd be like, oh, this. Giant sword is covered in black roses that give it infinite power. Like, shut the fuck up, Edgelord. Don't care, didn't ask. Also, you suck. He just sells the pop bag, yeah. So you, you don't... <laughs> You don't have to uh, have witnessed the crime for it to work. Because we've seen that before. We've definitely seen him selling the bomb bag. This isn't your average everyday tea bag. This is advanced tea bag. I'm going to show up on top of the clock tower 
with this little shit ass skull kid. He's gonna be like, haha, I got you now, and just. Oh, fuck. Where'd you get- where'd you get that sword, Link? That's a pretty- that's- that's a pretty big sword. <laughs> what? It's literally a wooden board. Uh, maybe I can grab back here. I think I have to have the, uh, Deku guy's house. Oh, no, maybe, 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 maybe. I think I have to have the Deku guy's house. I have to do it from on top of one of these, uh, things, I think. Pretty sure the hookshot is what unlocks this chest, though. Legend. Fifty bucks. Never give up, never surrender. Link found the Triforce of incredible violence. I think that's just called power. I think that's Ganon's. Still unclear why the clock tower is a gun, but uh, you know. Also, you, there is no universe where an engineer would put the effort in the design and build that and have it deploy by just going, bonk, and that's like, that's probably fine. That'll be, it won't break. I'm not, don't worry about it. Oh no, my absorption potions are gone. Hi. You little fuck. I just realized their name are Tattletail. <laughs> I dislike this game more every passing minute. It just continues to get worse. <laughs> I don't have any arrows. Man, I want to just shoot him with a fucking light arrow and tell him to shut the hell up. So it's literally the same cutscene. Come here, you bitch. Am I making any progress? No, but I'm enjoying punching with the face. Alright. What's the... Well, I have a night. I have a summon the Thornberries song. Out the order. After the song of healing instant, I don't think I'll ever forget a song that I have as an option ever again. Well, cutscenes playing, so that's probably good. But the fuck? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure I just called four very large naked men to beat your ass. I can't do for reasons. Why is everybody screaming? Everyone shut the fuck up. I'm just gonna close here and skip all I can ever left. I just died. So ends the nightmare zone. We can go five hours on an inventory of absorption potions. They're gonna punch the moon. It is a very small moon. It's less of a moon and more of a medium-sized asteroid. Little feet. Look at them toeses. Ah, uh, great censoring. Oh, never mind. Let's zoom right out. We can see where the dick lives. I appreciate that they made absolutely no attempt to make their walking animation mesh with the ground at all. They're just like, fuck it. I don't care. Just play it. 
This is again an extremely tiny moon. It's like 100 feet above the ground. It's not a moon, it's just a large boulder. What are you gonna do, hold up the moon? I feel like there's a great number of other things that you could do that aren't this. It's still, it's still there. That's, but f screw gravity. Oh, they rolled it so the face isn't pointed towards the planet anymore. Now it's just going to have an incredibly close orbit. Oh. It, 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 it stopped. <laughs> we did it! It stopped! <laughs> okay. I feel like... This has solved nearly zero of the problems that we were having. I, I feel like we still have all of the problems. <laughs> the moon is still right there. And as soon as the four giant naked men stop holding it, it's still going to crash into the planet. It's still angry. Skull Kid's still, like, just right. Are you guys listening to me? Look. This doesn't... We haven't fixed anything. Now, just whenever you walk outside, you have to look up and see massive, naked, like, Nigel Thornberry dong hanging over the, every individual gate. Can the giant naked man just set it down gently? Take the moon, and we'll just put it over here. Oh, hey, a horrible demon. What kind of horrible demon? Not far too many weaknesses to lose my power. <laughs> yeah, you stupid idiot. Wait, what? Stupid. You're gonna go fist fight a piece of wood with god powers? I have a battle. Nope, I'm not going. Good luck. I'm staying with Tail. See ya. <laughs> I I'll go. What? No, Tail, you. No, why? Why would you? Are you stupid? I don't know. This is fun. Why every shot of the giants is like right up the crotch hole. All right, never mind. Fine, I'll go. Have it all this time, Till. You got really fucking stubborn. You guys are dumb as hell. Let's go die on the moon. In the moon. Woo!
okay. Assume paddle. This is nice. I'll just stay here. This place is nice. Nice place. Oh no, the frame rate! Oh, hi. Oh, it's the worm. Ah, uh, nice weather, isn't it? You got, you got a lot of masks. You want to be a mask salesman? Give me, give me masks. Oh, fuck you, suck. Yeah. Okay. All right, the mask that literally never did anything, the mask I'm definitely never gonna do, and the other mask that literally never did anything. Can I interest you in some actual... Give him, you know, the masks that do things. I need to be speed. Good. He had to be some kind of idiot to give him the masks that do stuff. ready for a good time, and by a good time I mean whatever the furthest possible thing from a good time is. Hearts. You have infinity tries. But they like this is almost well designed. Sure wish that would stop happening. But this is almost well designed here. Like on accident, it seems. The time, like, yeah, well, we, we. I don't think we're in you know reality anymore. So far, record is obstacle three of probably twenty to thirty. gotten through obstacle one once but the one time we got through obstacle one we did also get through obstacle two oh. i don't 
hate this. It's just awful. <laughs> it's awful. Like, I suppose it's fair. They wanted to make, like, a mega ultimate. Really happy that keeps happening. That's making this much more enjoyable. They wanted to make, like, a mega ultimate transformation test. I'm guessing there's going to be one for each of the masks. These fucking weirdos of masks. He takes me to hell. And then you're in hell for several hours. This is... The problem is that it's completely non-functional. This honestly would be fine if it worked more than 30% of the time. Ah, oh, well, we got the through obstacle one. That's the, we got the obstacle two for the second time. It's not a magic pixel. It's 60% of the board. Oh, oh. Nope. Got the obstacle three. I would say we're getting more consistent, but we're not. It's literal dumb luck. And sometimes we get dumb luck here than others. But, like, you reset immediately. Were it well designed, you would just have full magic every time it's having to punch the pots. But, like, you instantly, you just are immediately back at the beginning. And there's only, like, three seconds of pointless downtime while it fades in. So, like, it's, it's almost good, even by conventional standards. The angle has to be exactly perfect. Like, the, the pathway is so narrow, you have about one degree of tolerance. Nope. Which means you have to snap the analog stick. As soon as you punch the ch uh, touch the chest, you have to snap the analog stick. Like, just to express how precise this is. When you touch the chest, you have to snap the analog stick immediately to left and then rotate the analog stick perfectly with the camera as it wheels around so that you are rolling in a straight line at all times. That's a failure. You have to keep your stick completely and perfectly in line with your path as the camera like, lackadaisically rotates around to follow you. And every time I'm going a little bit right, it's because I pivoted the analog stick just a little bit slower than the camera's actually pivoting. And every time I fall over to the left, it's because I pivoted the analog stick just a little bit faster than the camera's going around. Do it perfectly twice. Oh. And then you have no opportunity for correction because you are still just full sending it and you don't really have any control mid jump. Oh my god, this might be past three. Ah, there's another perfect angle, okay. Oh, you get some correction time on that one. Now you actually get to steer. You get to drive a little bit, and we fell. Okay, so the course is hilariously long. After the, the nearly perfect first two bounces, though, you get a little bit more leeway. You have to be almost, like, within probably one to two degrees of perfect on the analog state to get past the first two obstacles. But then it does open up a bit. Cool. Okay, we're overdue. We had to have that happen in a bit. And then the course is actually, like, an hour in length. I somehow almost recovered. I, I had to overcrack too much into the chest, so it was going to be a bounce for sure. 
It's the, the chest are at exactly a 45 degree angle. So if you are more than zero degrees towards the chest, you will clank. Like that. I was rolling at zero. I corrected a little bit. I corrected probably 0 0.0025 degrees to the right. But that caused a clank. Because if you are anything past the absolute axis, you clank. So literal perfection is required on the first two bounces. That's probably, I might be able to salvage this time. It's like, it's almost angle perfect. That was a good bounce. Can I salvage it? I think we're stabilized. All right, then we have another one. We have, you have correction time on this. And I overcorrected, undercorrected rather. We're doing okay. I think below half your bar. Oh yeah, half is because you don't, it won't necessarily have double magic at this point. So I, well, I should never need more than half. It's built to be doable. I'm discovering that on each chest bounce, you can just kick the stick. I couldn't, over, couldn't save it. You can just kick the stick into like the 45 degree notch and it will more or less work because it will be as right as it is wrong. And it will give you generally the correct angle. Because you'll be undercorrected at first, but then overcorrected as the camera pivots, and it kind of evens out. Let's go doink. Doink. But then you have to try and salvage it going into the strip, because you have to be exactly one degree tolerance perfect going into the, like, quadruple jumps. This is not bad for a guess. What did I actually Because there's so many of them in a row. If I, theory, I've never tried this. I don't know how this interacts with Goron rolling. What if I hold Z? The camera is the main antagonist. If I hold Z, it literally has no impact while you're Goron rolling. Z doesn't do anything in a Goron roll. I was hoping I could force the camera to actually face the direction I'm going after a bounce. Then I could just hold forward, like seems to be the intention. Uh, which I guess they just never play tested if they would have immediately realized that it doesn't work. Because here, the camera has that gap is actually worse. Now that I know about the like the 45 degree angle trick for these first two. The third one is actually the worst because you can't use it there because the gap is too large. And the camera will not manage to get wheeled around by the time you get to the ramp. So there's absolutely nothing you can do but just free ball it, try to compensate for the camera and hope it works out. That's so we just gotta fucking free ball it. You have to free ball it. Just stop rolling? What are these bridges? Oh, there are gossip stones. I did not give him my gossip stone mask yet. Give me that. What do you say? Tomorrow the spirit dancer had Kamaro's mask. Kita, capital of the kill lights. Oh, so this is like a list of where to find all the masks. Maybe. I like the clear implication here. There's another incredibly unforgiving jumps section. Well, these central areas. Is that where 
where we're going? What the f this place is fucking huge! This place is super massive! What the actual fuck? Don't touch it. Okay. Can I get enough speed on this little area here to get back in this bike warp? I feel like I can continue from here. Because it's a large enough area, I can just get my speed back and go. We'll find out. Yeah. Okay. So it'd be interesting if the mask I don't have. Hungry Goron was wearing Don Giro's mask. I feel like that's a thing that I have. That was the frog mask. I turned that in already. What's up, Broski? How you doing? Gibdo mask. Yeah, I have that. Thank you. It's literally impossible to get here without that mask. It's, that one's actually, that's a required one. I couldn't possibly not have that. You fucking idiot. I feel like I could just start right here and go and have plenty of space. Some kind of day how it goes over here. Well, you know, of all the video games, Jorah's Mask is one of them. Now we're done. Okay, so that was a good attempt. We learned nothing other than that all of those little bridges are completely pointless. So back to hell. Cool. Uh, this broski is... Got every part of me wants to say one of the worst sections of this of a video game I've ever played. But like, it's not designed like the concept isn't the worst thing that's ever been made it's just that the execution is so damn bad it's uh, almost actively unplayable a huge fucking problem holy crap we saved that no we didn't there is absolutely no capacity to correct on the straight bridge. None whatsoever. Really glad I threw that runaway to get out of my car and see what the bridges were about and realized that it was just a huge waste of my time. Looks rough, especially these frame rates. It's also very, very poorly implemented uh, because of the camera. This is an N64 game, right? It's one thumbstick. You have absolutely no camera controls in Majora's Mask. So you have to, on each of these turns, slowly pivot the analog stick, and the bridges are narrow enough. You probably got like two or three degrees of tolerance on each corner, where you have to slowly pivot the analog stick at the exact rate that the camera is turning. I just kind of gave up. I literally assumed we were failed. We've been already failed. Because if you move the stick faster than the camera is pivoting, you'll go off the left edge, and if you move the stick a little slower than the camera is pivoting, you'll go off the right edge, and there's nothing you can do about the camera. Went a little too fast. So really all this is, it looks like a racetrack, but it's actually like a Mario Party minigame where you're just trying to time your stick movements exactly with the whim of the camera. This course is also about 40 jumps long. I think. Could be 100. I'm just, that's how far I've seen so far. Nope, nope, almost. Almost at an attempt. If we get past the first three bounces, we have an attempt. This literally feels like a shitty Zelda Kaiser run there. That's what it feels like. That's also what the vast majority of the game has felt like so far. Majora's Mask, by and large, just kind of is a shitty, uh, shitty Zelda run hack. With a Kaizo section at the end. Marble Madness, good times. Yeah. That's the other part that sucks, is this, this kind of mechanic, this kind of gameplay, I fucking love shit like this.
this. This is just unplayable. Oh, we might have an attempt. We have a chance. We have an attempt, boys. We have an urn. Why uncurled in fear? Please. Camera, please. It's a bounce, but where to? It's just another straight ramp. Well, I'm trying to see where this goes. And that's the end zone. Okay, we might be able to get our spikes back up, but I think we lost. Just because it's the first time we've got this far, and I need to see if there was something else I need to go touch. Because some of the masks I didn't even know about. Oh. Yeah, this is a new idea thing. No! We fucking saved it! Holy shit! This also is, I think, definitely not mandatory, but it's just horrible. I want to be behind me forever. Great fairy in town of the great fairies. Thank you! Oh, these are useless. Unless you're a piece of heart. Well, it's a piece of heart, and also I think a big part of the reward is meant to be these stones. That are telling you where the masks you don't have are, except none of them have told me where a mask I don't have is yet. They've just told me where the masks I already do have are. Oh my god, there's more. No, that just looped. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there's one more thing. So that just, that, that's the end. There's one more thing I want to check out. Which is, requires us to get an urn, but that's it. We have to get to, like... We have to get to, we have an urn. And I can check it from there. There was that big ice thing off of the side. It looks like I can roll across. A little pavilion with the hint rocks. And go over there. That might be something. Because we got the piece of heart, but the goal was fucking to find the stupid idiot. The stupid idiot's over there. But this does give you a lot of stuff. It gives you a piece of heart. It gives you... Oh, that was great. Indications. On how to get the mask you don't have yet. I might have been able to say that by uncurling. Uh, I didn't react fast enough. Gonna handle the spaghetti. Well, I'm starting to get the timing of the like analog snap movements down, so I'm at least relatively close most times. Uh, we'll probably get back to the hint stones in, within the next like 10 attempts, I think. Well, obviously, pending that shit, pending it literally just breaking and not functioning. A bunch of times in a row. Probably the next 10 attempts or so, I think we'll go get back over there. A little early. This is workable. Okay, I need. Mean, it's actually, yeah, it's from right here because these are all bridged together. So there's this. Aha! It's the child. I found you. You want more masks. Here are three more masks that quite literally never did anything. What makes me happy? Not this video game. Let's make 
other is happy too. I don't know. Games that are good. Okay, bye. Ah. So it takes four masks to get rid of a kid, maybe? I don't fucking know. I gotta find more useless masks. Next happy rats. Rats make me happy. Ah, the frame rate. Delicious, delicious frame rate. Hello, Adolwa guy. Let me get some more garbage. Um, this mask did one thing. I don't think it's gonna help me here. I literally just gave him one and he went, oh, it's gonna be per tier they are. So like the guy who's the worms is gonna take four. I, see, I think I see what we're doing here. I don't know what the point of pain in the last two was though. I feel like I just kind of threw two masks in the garbage. Foreman Brothers using Kara's mask. You literally can't get here without already having that. That's required for main story progression. Thank you. Got that one though. Appreciate you. Waiting for one of these to say, it seems that Link had the Deku mask. That's about the level of assistance they've been so far. Hermione's mask. I don't think we have Hermione's mask. Do we have Hermione's mask? It did her thing, didn't I? Oh, with the cow mask is Ramani's mask. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Literally have that on my hopper right now. Interesting. Some moving platforms, some depth perception checks. Got spikes on it. That's made a fuck off of him. Leader of the Gorman Troop of the Circus Leader's Mask. Okay, we didn't have that one. Leader of the Gorman Troop. So, cool. That, whatever. We didn't have that one. Yes, I do. It's the one that was just his, his face. But the point is, I was going to say, even if that's news, that doesn't help us. Because that didn't tell me anything I couldn't get out of the bomber's notebook. Oh, this guy has a thing I haven't done yet. I know that, Eddie. That's why he still has blank bars. That's what the bomber's notebook is for. Person who is conscientious about being on time can see into the boxes that enable people to keep in touch with. Okay. I'm pretty sure you just told me the mailman collects the mail, but let me read this again. The person who is conscientious about being on time can see into the boxes that enable people to keep in touch with other people's feelings. The mailman collects the mail. How does that help? How could that possibly help? I noticed there is a yellow and a pink flower here. They may have a difference. I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna hit it after the spikes pass. Just in case it is stupid like that, because we have like two chances to get in here. Oh, yellow is big blue stuff. Okay. This is way less horrible than the Goron one. You know, because it works. 
Okay, I think I get what's going on here. The ones that say, it, uh oh, it seems John had John's mask are masks I already have. And the ones who were telling me weird shit are hints towards masks I did not have. So the mailman mask theoretically exists and will let me interact with mailboxes. Two of the most reason to have it are indeed the ones who have the mask that is full of a man and woman's love. The two guys in the fucking shit gallery who have a different game every day. Maybe I win all three of their games, I get a mask. I think that's what's happening. The ones that are like, what the fuck are you talking about are the ones that are actually useful. And it's like, because it is literally saying, oh, well, it looks like you got this mask from that. Fuck. Let's do the whole room again. Because I got greedy. All I had to do was go back to the stick. And we were done. Greed consumed my being. So go around again. This is pretty sick. though. It's not even a hint. It's literally like, ah, you got the mask from this. Fucking jar. I don't know if I can get that on pink flower. Please go in. Please go in. Okay. Now the problem is I'm unwilling to put one second of effort into this, so it's gonna take 40 more tries because I will only spam. I absolutely refuse to put the effort into this any further because I already should have won. So we're in the self-fulfilling prophecy of dying 400 times in a row because I'm just fucking mashing. We call this tilt. I get to there. I can go over these branches with the yellow. Okay. Wait. I don't know why I'm coming in and talking to these fucking. Oh, okay. Box. I feel like I'm just throwing masks down the crapper, turning masks in at the end. about whatever weird esoteric shit you're gonna say to me. So theoretically... We got a three and a four. This is clearly like the ending sequence, which is weird because there's pieces of heart in it. Am I Maybe I'm literally supposed to pick them all up and then play the Song of Time. I'm obviously not gonna do. You are Georg. You will like three. I will give you three. You can have this one and this one and this one. And then I can get your stuff and just leave? Because something probably happens if you give all of them the extra masks at the end. And it's probably related, it probably requires the number of masks that there are in the game. Which is not the number of masks that I have, so turning them in at the end is literally just like... ...nuking my mask count for no reason. Thanks for playing this, I don't have to. This game... ...is definitely a game. Oh, well I guess let's go alright. Ah, this one's a slot machine. Wondering what they were gonna do for the water. This one's just a slot. It's Picador. Hey, it's another section of Majora's Mask that's literally considered bad in a Mario Maker level. It's Picador. Oh, 
Cool. Okay, so that was one, one, one. Try one, one. Stuck on the wall. Let's try one, one, zero. Hey, it's not just pick a door, it's pick every door. Okay, let's try one zero. If we see a door, we're just gonna get fucked, I guess. This is actually reverse pick a door. If I pick the right door, we're fucked. Unless there's a way to go back. Where is this industrial pipe network even? No, no. Let's try one, zero, zero. Correct me if I do something stupid and skip a combination. One, zero, zero. They also look like they interconnect a little bit. Zero, yep, they interconnect to the middle. So I need to do one, zero, zero, one, because it adds a fourth digit. They even hid the piece of heart behind the rock. Literally the shittiest possible thing that you could conceivably do, and they did it. is gonna be 110 again. Nope. And we cannot collect any more of the hints. This is a forced ending. There is no way to reset. So if there were any more useful hints in here, admittedly, quite literally none of them have been useful. Uh, also, we now have to pay the three mask toll. There's no other way out. Which means the four masks we're gonna give the worm boy have to be transformation masks or I'm not gonna be able to bring the mask of truth. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if I can even give him those. I'm assuming I can because I'm assuming they will take every, I'm too lazy to do the math. I'm guessing they'll take every single mask in like a perfect world. Hello, sir. Huh? Can't do any more of them? Okay. That guy isn't real? Ah. He has the mask. Whoops. I'm sorry. I was mashing. Oh, fuck up. All right, well, hold on then, sir. These are words you will come to regret. When I paddle you with the mask of destruction, the sword of destruction on the mask of destruction. Fuck am I now? My lights. Oh. 
I don't know why I can do that. I guess you can't do all four of them. They won't let you go in if you don't have enough to pay the full tr the full troll toll, maybe? Oh, he's wiggly! Oh, he's got hair! He's fabulous now! Well, I saw there were pots. Maybe they have arrows and shit. Ah, arrows. And shit. That's exactly what I wanted. Where are you going? He's a Beyblade. Spinning. Just spinning around. Not really at me. So much as just generally around. You want a specific thing. What is the specific thing, I wonder? What specific thing do you want me to do? Oops. Hit it in the back. That's a reasonable thing that I can do. While it's flying around in literal complete random. Flower. I'm gonna burst him from underneath. Like the turtles. Say flowers. Human. Just going on an adventure. Well, I have. These are the things that I have. Yeah. Hook him. Get hooked. Flying around at 44 quadrillion miles an hour. I have those things in these things. I guess I, maybe it's because I didn't have four, because you probably can't get the mass to transform you into shit. I have boomerangs. Like, theoretically. Head up in the back. Yeah, they hit him in the back. I guess one of them technically touched his back somehow. Well, the, well, the other boomerang coming back 25 minutes later did the damage, unfortunately. Oh, okay. seconds. Ah, it's Twin Rova, but shit. Cool. He's Beyblading again. Okay. Like these. Having a good time going on an adventure. I'll just stand here and see if I can bounce one. No, they just dink. Do you want to shoot a laser again? Because that actually kind of seemed to work. I guess I can use light arrows see if that'll do it. 
The light arrows work. Grab more arrows. Do the laser again. Yeah. I'm literally locked onto him. Please. Point it at him. No? Alright, that's cool. Do it manually. Because lock on is so bad, it's actually better to do it manually. There sure is a boss. Hey, I remember all those people complaining in Dark Cloud about how during the boss fight I had to keep going in my menu to switch elements of my weapons, and everyone was like, oh man, this is such but it's fight so bad design. How do you like this game? This is horrible, man. This is unwatchable. I hate this. It's the worst thing that's ever fucking happened. This game murdered my family. You guys remember that? Me too. I remember that. The top chef, here you go. Oh, he's a noodle monster now. Okay. Oh, he does have attacks. Okay. I thought we were just vibing. He does actually attack. I thought we were just having a good time. Okay, you weird chicken laser. Uh, I'm gonna pull these out because they exist. I can shoot probably one. <laughs> to a strict number of hits, thus raising the question of why he can give me a cooler sword, or he has an octogentillion health. Oh, now he has a head. Okay. Now he's the BDSM guy. The gameplay loop did not. It was the previous form, but it has attacks. I guess the previous form did possess an attack. Okay. You have hit it several times. Congratulations. Gone. That's still a problem. 
We do, the moon does have a purpose. Gravitationally, that's still bad. What about the ocean? And that's how the world floods for Wind Waker. Because we destroyed the moon. Ah! He's up! Small moon didn't do. That's true. The moon was could like fit in a football field. It was a large asteroid. Ah, you're still here. Kind of figured you'd do your thing and then just sort of go home. Yeah, well, this is awkward. Uh, you guys gotta go. <laughs> like nobody cares about you, skull kid. Giant Nigel Thornberry men. You guys gotta. You guys gotta go. Yeah, they're in the town. This is, okay, they're just stomping all over everything. This is a problem. This is uh, probably a larger, he just kicked half of the city wall over. This is probably a significantly larger problem than the moon thing. I think we made it profoundly worse. Now there's just giant naked men everywhere. <laughs> godzilla their way out of building. Hi. No, I killed a mask. Literally nobody cares about you. Please leave. You shit little scarecrow. Look. Go kid. I understand that the one guy who wrote and developed this game by himself in a basement with no contact with the outside world was into extremely edgy anime exclusively. I understand that. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Stab him. Just take your giant fairy paddle and stab him. Oh, it is the same continuity as Ocarina. Like, it is, it is, is the same continuity as Ocarina. Okay, neat. He approaches as a friend might. Let's do something. Play a better game? Huh. So the evil has left the mask after all. How did you get here? Well, now, I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Huh. Bye, nerds. Walks right in the middle, on purpose. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. I do like this guy just like insta snapping to all his all his animations. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The mask you have, you, we could have had this conversation before you walked away. Happiness. This is true. Why'd you walk away if you still wanted to talk? This is just awkward now. Are you? Are, you, are we? I guess he's done. I guess he's done. Like, for real. <laughs> well, both of us have gotten what we were after. So, I'm gonna fuck off, yeah? You know, that was kind of fun. Parts of it were kind of fun. I could agree with that. Parts of Majora's Mask were kind of fun. And that's as far as I will go. Well, almost time for the carnival. Why don't you just, uh, fuck off! There's carnival shit to do. I don't want to eat funnel cakes. And play rigged games. You know what? That dialogue box is pretty correct. I can agree with that one, Tattle. You have a nice day. 
It was kind of- Ah, wait, like- You guys really gotta, like, say things before we leave. Thanks, Chief. You know what makes me the happiest about this game? Is that it's over. <laughs> it is not a good game. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's just not good. Hello, Mrs. Girlfriend. I do. You don't have. That's the only thing I put in. I don't put all the other weird shit, yeah. Well! Having now played this proper style, 1064 Functional Edition, no uh, emulator shenanigans ruining everything like we tried several years ago, I can soundly say it's not better. <laughs> I don't get it. I've played through the whole game now. I look, I can recognize clearly that I obviously I have no nostalgia for this game whatsoever. I didn't play it before. And it is an N64 game. Large parts of what make this suck so much shit are just products of the fact that it's a 20 year old N64 game. I do get that. That's honestly like a lot of it. I can definitely see how back in that era, two whole ass decades ago, when y'all were fucking nine years old. How this could be something that would leave you with a lot of nostalgia. I do think it's, it's really, it's the golden eye thing. If I never, it's the same analogy and I'm gonna stick with it. If I'd never played GoldenEye before and I popped it in my fucking N64, I would think it was literally the worst shit anyone ever created. Because it really just is... That's straight out of the side. A product of another era. And I can kind of see... I really, like, I have to try how it would have been good back then. Oh, I see. It's showing me clips of the stuff. I get it. All the things I'm seeing are from the masks that I got and the things that I did. So that would have been a scene with the mailman if I had the mailman's hat. I see. That's actually kind of neat. In the category of technology changed real fucking fast. Yeah, the N64 also hit like right in the huge fucking swing of going from this shit to like Xbox 360 games in the span of a year or two. That's actually really neat that so you get different bits of ending depending on what you did and didn't do. I dig it. As my mom would put it, we were just happy it would work back then. Yeah, we went from this to Halo Combat Evolved in one year. There was an insane fucking power spike for video game technology. There's a bunny hood mask. Oh, of course, it's from this. But, but, and that's why I played through this, even though for large swaths of this, I wanted to blow my brains out. I pushed through it because I can definitely see why it was at least good back in the day. But, there are plenty of N64 games that still hold up. There are plenty of games from that era that are still fine. That are still good, even. They're obviously fucking aged. But I would put, like, the shiny example is, you know, Mario 64. Mario 64, you can sit down and play it, and it's a little janky, and it's a little clunky, and it's kind of tough. It's still fucking good. I think Banjo-Kazooie is still pretty good. I think Ocarina of Time is probably still pretty good. 
But I haven't played that since it was, you know, current era. This mask apparently has a huge fucking cutscene, whatever the hell this is. Jesus, this they fucking this mask has got a big one. I don't like Mario 64. I think Mario 64 100% still holds up. Mario stripped down simple gameplay is always more complex than aging, some more harsh. I think a large amount of the problems with this game. Oh, that's the completionist mask. Oh, is that they tried to do too much shit? They tried to do way too much. And like. 35% of it worked. <laughs> And then it's just, a lot of it's just uninspired. Like the dungeons. The flippy dungeon is a fucking cool concept. I will give it absolutely that one. The flippy dungeon is a fantastic concept. But the other three dungeons are literally forgettable. They do nothing interesting. All three of the dungeons, all three of the dungeons give you a fucking magic arrow as the dungeon loot. The three, or, uh, or arrows in general. All four. Because you get the bow, and then you get fire, ice, and light arrows. Your dungeon items are fucking arrows. Come on. You go into a Zelda dungeon, and you get something ridiculously awesome. That Changes a ton of the world and unlocks a huge amount of stuff. Not Majora's Mask. I'm also realizing now this is an N64 game, which means when you beat it, it, you just have to turn the console off. Because this is not going to go to the title screen. It's just going to sit here until you turn the N64 off. Because that was just a thing we did in this era. <laughs> that the game actually just hard-ended. Which also means... I probably would have lost all the pieces of heart that I got in the ending arc, but that's okay. Such is life. Yeah, game over. Go do something else. That's exactly what it is. But it wasn't awful. I would say it's definitely not good. I think it's not good is the perfect place to leave it. I think it is... One of the worst Zelda games. As a person who would call himself a fan of the Zelda series, I think this is profoundly one of the worst entries it has, for sure. It's not the worst, obviously. I, there's the... See, in the Zelda franchise, you got, like, a... You got the slime at the bottom that, like, everyone knows is dog shit. <laughs> like... You got the, the CDI games. You got Zelda 2. You got Seasons and Ages. Like, you got... There's some trash at the bottom. But this is above that. And probably nothing else. I think is where I would put it. I love Seasons and Ages. I want to level with you. I'm not confident I've played Seasons and Ages. I'm not actually sure that I've played them. But I have them in my head as the worst shit ever. And I'm not really positive why, because again, I can't confidently say that I played them. I don't know if I'm just insane. I don't know what's put this seed in my head that's like Seasons and Ages suck. I'm not confident. season's playthrough win well i don't know what the plan is we you know we're not going in order anymore because this dream is dead but hey we knocked another one off the board for treasure trawler because we did majora's mask we did like half of dark cloud we could go back and finish dark cloud probably not gonna but we could hypothetically i just don't i'm gonna tell you i just don't think i'm gonna play the other three I don't think Kirby 64, Spyro, or Baldur's Gate are going to come around. I have absolutely no interest in playing any of them. 
Uh, but that was kind of the point of Treasure Trawler, was it wasn't all stuff that I wanted to do. It was stuff that was there and was, like, highly rated and was like, maybe I should give it a shot, like Deus Ex. I had no interest in playing Deus Ex, and that was a game um, that I played through the entirety of and still did not understand literally at all, both story-wise and mechanically. I think I got the story, more or less. But, like, I got, at the very end of that game, I could not tell you mechanically how any part of it worked. <laughs> Sometimes I shot a dude with the gunniest gun that I owned in the, in the, in the foot. Or directly in the face, and they'd be perfectly fine, and they're untouched. And sometimes I, like, spit a pee at their ankle, and they died instantly. I literally have no concept of how damage works in Deus Ex at all. The, the best I can think of. My best possible conclusion of how Deus Ex functions after playing it is that it is a first-person shooter where every time you physically shoot somebody, it then makes a d20 roll to actually see if you hit and just rolls damage. That's the only fucking thing I could possibly think of to explain the absolute random number generator that was hitting anybody in Deus Ex for the entire game. But we're getting sidetracked. Endwalkers in two weeks. Tomorrow's Final Fantasy Friday. I would like to believe that with the boss we fought last week behind us, we are almost through Final Fantasy XIV's main story quest. But again, I don't fucking know. Who knows? So what do we do in the meantime? Two weeks is enough time to play another game. We could fire up another one. I actually have Kirby on my desk here. I think it's Derp's copy. I'm not gonna, but I have it. I should probably give it back to him. Um, we could go back to Cassandra Lee. Let me turn the Sun 64 off here. Cassandra Lee has been sitting there twiddling her thumbs for a bit. Sad and alone. She's gotten a couple strength levels from AFKing activities. I don't actually have any hard plans. Because, again, at this point, I was pretty sure we were going to be playing Endwalker. I'm not going to make Final Fantasy a main series game until Endwalker comes out. And I'm going to tell you guys, I would have just full, full frontal Final Fantasy fans, I don't even know how long it's going to be a main game when Endwalker comes out. I'm going to make it a main game because it's a new expansion. There's going to be, like, energy there. I really want to play it. Obviously, a decent pile of chat likes it. But boy, howdy, it's not a big pile of chat. Uh, you, you Final Fantasy creatures. The algorithm says you're very much a minority of the squiddy pool. This is a very loud one. As Final Fantasy Fridays have done worse and worse and worse and maybe consider if I can keep doing them. I'm going to do them until Endwalker comes out. And we'll see how this shit goes when Endwalker comes out. I don't know how long it's going to stay a thing. It might just get relegated to a game that I play for fun and just doesn't get streamed. But we'll at least eat some of it. I don't know. We're going to eat it tomorrow, though. 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. It's Final Fantasy Friday. Hopefully we're finishing up the main story quest or at least making another pile of hours of progress. Whomst? I can now rate anybody in the Majora's Mask category because there's not like spoiler things going on there. Ha ha. Although, I am not a bold man. Hey! Pee Pee Man do Barrows. I can watch Barrows. I know what Barrows is. I can't realistically watch Barrows because there's no concept of what they're going to be talking about here. Uh, you could you could claim that I, w I am warming up the crowd to heading back over to RuneScape here. And maybe I am. Shut up. Maybe I just want to go back to my comfort blanket, both as a video game and as a relatively safe... Oh my god, that was his stream. And a relatively safe uh, stream. But hey... Maybe he's just a funny peepee, -pee, man. Good night, everybody. Thirsty rat.